Well, hello, nesty besties. How's everybody doing this fine Sunday? We definitely have a problem in Kuwait. We have witnessed fork usage. She should take the video down immediately. I don't know why she's tempting fate with fettuccine alfredo, heart attack on a plate, we know it as, and using a fork at the same time. What are you thinking, ma'am? What are you thinking? Do you have a death wish? I'm starting to think you do. What is going on? My goodness. Who do we have today? Who's in the nest? Happy Sunday. If it's Sunday where you are, if not, happy Monday. We got Nicole Y. We got Anana Mouse. Um, Kitty Connecticut. Cat C. Raging Ra. Angel of Glass. We've got Lisa says, what the fork? She clearly doesn't know the laws. Or she is acting in defiance of the fork laws. Mm-hmm. Very possible. Spooky Von Sweet, Simply Khadija. She's got to be forking kidding. I pff, I don't think she is this time. Lucy Jane 12, and it's a metal fork at that. She can't lie and say it was a random leftover plastic takeout fork that she found in the back of the drawer. This is a very intentional fork crime. And that is the key, intent. She is blatantly in defiance of the fork laws. I don't know what she's thinking. How you doing, Dot? Diabetic necromorph leg rahem. What the fork? Uh-huh. Marwa fork activity? I'm afraid I have to report. It is our civil duty and responsibility to report fork activity in this in the country of Kuwait where it's clearly illegal. Illegal. You think she's buying forks and on a mouse? She there's no way she has just one. I tend to agree with you because I don't think she washes dishes that often. How could she have a fork at any given moment when she wants to use one? And why would you use it on camera? There's now fold, there's video evidence of you using a fork. And you say you're, you're sitting in the country of Kuwait. What are you thinking, Miriam? What are you thinking? Buying forks and subs. I guess she's got a lot of money buying subscribers, buying forks. Who knows what will be next? Because as we said, the fork is a very slippery slope. It is. Hello, Cassandra. Hello, Rosebud. We got little seven. We've got, has she found a pasta legal loophole? There are none. Not in Kuwait. Nope. You would think, right? Like, okay, I'm eating fettuccine. Like, how am I supposed to eat fettuccine with a spoon? Well, it's Chantal. I think she could find a way to use a serving spoon to eat just about anything. You're right. She's flaunting the fork. Rosebud, are you suggesting we do a rescue mission for Miriam or for the fork? Because I'm thinking the fork. <laughs> we got Lisa Mitchell here, Angel of Glass, Toka Lydia, Creus Corianus. There is a fork in usage. Just Jamie, Linda Listen, Cato Coach Potato. Poison Petty for tell the Emir, or as she called him the she called him the Emperor. Did she really? <laughs> Did she really? <laughs> the Emperor? Oh, that's a good one. Wow. Great, Chantal. Great. <laughs> My God, I didn't hear that. Wow. We got Citizen Cardigan, Boaz B. Antonis is here. BB chopsticks are okay, right? I really don't want to speak on behalf of the country of Kuwait. I really don't. You know, that's a very serious thing. I, I don't feel qualified to speak on that, actually. She said it in the Freedom Day video. Oh, I, I haven't watched that yet with you guys. I barely watched it on my own. I have to take a look at that because that's hysterical. <laughs> She's all forked up, Suburban Hillbilly. Oh. I agree. Yep. Kripnik Fork Spotter. Uh-oh, the Fork Spotter's here. <gasps> oh, my God. Poor life choices. Oh my goodness, thank you for gifting 10 Are You Serious memberships. Thank you. Oh 
my goodness. Thank you so, so much. How generous. Wow. So let's see. We got 10 gifted by Poor Life Choices Simulator. And who received one? We've got JB0617, Citizen Cardigan, Juniper Billy Lawrence, Stephanie, Kreis. It's Maddie, duh. Human Being received one. Yeah. Anona Mouse, Cat Shark, Antonis. Fantastic. Wow. Thank you so much. That's so generous. I appreciate that. New members, please be sure to check out your custom emojis and go check out your welcome video. It's just a short little video welcoming you to the nest officially. Wow. Very nice. Thank you. Woohoo! <laughs> yeah. Hey, personal cooking channel. How are you? Very nice. Hey, green dragon. Wow, my dogs are, uh, yeah, they're going off. It's a nice warm day out and they are certainly enjoying it. So bark, 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 it's hater hot dish. You know it, yes. They're off the hinges. <laughs> okay, let's, uh, let's get started in this horrific video with a lot of butter. There's just, I mean, it's just horrifying, really. I better get my chef's hat on for this, I think. Oh, it's a lot. It's a lot. You know, it's really not a good choice with someone of her health. So I'm going to start by adding some olive oil and some butter to a pan. Then I'm going to add, I added four cloves of uh, crushed up fresh garlic to the oil and butter. And after that's browned, the garlic is browned and cooked well, I add a couple tablespoons or so of some white flour to make a roux. And then I'm going to add some... I mean, I looked at a recipe, okay, of how to make the sauce. There is no olive oil. She put oil and butter in the bottom of this pot. Like a pound of butter, probably. And oil. Why is she using both all the time? Why? Extra calories, extra fat, extra health? What is that about? So I'm going to start by adding some olive oil and some butter to a pan. Then I'm going to add, I added four cloves of uh, crushed up fresh garlic to the oil and butter. And after that's browned, the garlic is browned and cooked well, I add a couple tablespoons or so of some white flour to make a roux. And then I'm going to add some cream. And this is about a cup and a half of cream and some water mixed in as well. A, a cup and a half of cream, of heavy cream. Okay, that is part of the recipe. But my God, is this something you would choose to make to eat when you are suffering from very serious health consequences? And what's with the water all the time? Why does she always add a little bit of water into it? I don't understand. I don't understand. Is flour in the recipe? I don't, I don't recall seeing it. I'll have to look. Do all recipes require heavy cream in Chantal's kitchen? They do. Yes. Yes, they do. You've never used flour and pasta sauce, Kato Couch Potato? God. I, I just don't, I don't think that that's necessary. She's always talking about making a roux, but I don't know if you need to make that for Alfredo. I'm going to look up a recipe. Have you ever made an Alfredo sauce yourself? I don't really care for it that much, but I have had it for like from a jar. <laughs> <laughs> it's so horrible for you. Most people know that. Not Chantal, I guess. Let's see, recipes. I'm sure Sansa Cooks will come out with a macro video on this. All right, butter, heavy cream, Parmesan. Okay. What is Alfredo sauce? Traditional Alfredo is a simple white slash cream sauce it's made from butter heavy cream and parmesan cheese while the original style is great i simply like to add garlic salt pepper and italian seasoning to make alfredo sauce taste even better let me look at the ingredients list quickly 
These new recipe websites suck. <laughs> they gotta tell their life story before they even get to the recipe. There's no, yeah, there's no flour. There's no flour in it at all. Did she forget that she told us she has diabetes? I think so. <laughs> I think she forgot. Making a cheese gravy. Yeah. Tell you, I haven't um, heard of that happening with anyone else. Um, any other viewers other than yourself. Is anyone else having an issue where um, the live stream on my channel suddenly stops and starts over? Has anyone else experienced that? I haven't. No one else has told me that. But. That doesn't mean it's not happening, you know? Alfredo sauce ingredients. This is a different website now. Butter, heavy cream, Parmesan, garlic, and fresh parsley. No flour. No flour. It does happen for you guys? That's bizarre. I don't know why. I don't know. Are you waiting, like, beforehand for it to start? Hmm. I have no idea. but you can't figure out how to buy subs, Catsy. <laughs> yeah, you shouldn't. You shouldn't buy subs. It's against terms of service. Yeah. No, I have no idea why that's happening. I have no clue. I think that's probably a YouTube thing. And once it's thickened up, I'm gonna add some Parmesan cheese, grated Parmesan cheese, and just whisk that around and let everything uh, cook down for a little while. And it should thicken up nicely and get nice and bubbly. The roux will thicken up the sauce. And this is what it looks like when it's pretty much ready. Now we're going to add the fettuccine noodles. And here you have it. It all mixed together. All right, looks delicious. Let's eat. My goodness. Hello, everybody. Salam alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Alaikum salam. Oh, yeah, of course, tell you. You know what? I do. There is one channel that I watch. There is one who live streams. And if I watch it in um, Firefox browser, it constantly freezes. And I mean freezes. And I'm like, why is it only his channel? But then I watch it in Chrome and it doesn't freeze at all. It's, and it's only his channel. That's, I know. I don't know what's up with that. I don't know. Um, were you looking for a link to gift to gift um, members? Is that what you were asking for? Not to buy subscribers, but to gift members. If you hit the dollar sign down below, it will have an option to gift members. And let's see, we got Poor Life Choices Simulator gifted 10 earlier. So generous. And I think towards the end of today's stream, I'm going to gift five. Are you serious memberships to some lucky participants? Lucky, that depends on whether you like my channel or if you're lurking. So that is, um, no, that's okay, Scatsy. <laughs> no worries. Um, yeah, so if you are lurking and you don't want to be outed, I would suggest switching over to a different, um, a different account. Just fair warning, fair warning. Welcome to a mukbang video. Um, I have my homemade Alfredo and some spicy zinger drumsticks. Okay, and some parm, of course. So you're gonna put parm on that. Bismillah, I need some water. It is so hot in the kitchen with the door closed when I'm uh, cooking. Oh, that was noisy. <laughs> I have to use both hands for this huge bottle. All right, I'm so hungry, let's dig in. I wanna try this <gasps> What are you doing, Chantal? Oh my God. Oh, and feels like forever. It was oh forever. My God. It forever. Oh my God. Oh my God. She's so blatant. Oh. Let's take some bites here. Man. <laughs> Honestly, mm. the best Alfredo sauce I've ever tasted. Wow. <laughs> I like it garlicky. Wow. Yeah, she doesn't look too excited, though. Like, at all. Not at all. 
Um, let's see. Rosie Posey, you lurk because you like to listen. I feel like everyone already says what I want to say, so I don't have anything exciting to contribute. Rosie Posey, you can just say hi and just like chit chat. You don't have to have some groundbreaking comment to make, you know, just chat with us. It's no, if you want to, it's no big deal. You know, I like to lurk, not because I don't have things to say, but because it's just inconvenient to type usually on my phone if I'm doing stuff, but yeah. Mm hmm. Once it's thickened up, I'm going Oops. to add some Parmesan. <laughs> oh, that's spicy. Spicy? What's spice? Oh, we missed the chicken part. Yeah, so if you have any aversion, which most of us probably do, to watching a woman um, really attack a chicken drumstick, I mean attack, okay, this is your trigger warning right here, okay? It's, it's it's kind of bad today. This is kind of bad. She made a couple of faces that actually made me concerned for her. So, and some spicy zinger drumsticks. Okay. And some parm, of course. So you're gonna put parm on that. Extra Just parm. Some, I need some water. It is so hot in the kitchen with the door closed when I'm. Uh, so cooking. why are you closing the door when you cook? You, why don't you just leave it open? You also have a window in there. That's what it's meant for with a vent. So, I mean, she probably still gets hot anyway, but okay. Oh, that was noisy. <laughs> I have to use both hands for this huge bottle. All right, I'm so hungry. Let's dig in. Oh my God. I want to try this. I feel like I should blur out the fork. Like, do people watch my channel in Kuwait? Am I going to get in trouble? I'm tr I'm transmitting fork footage into the country of Kuwait. I want answered. All you have oh to do God. is... <laughs> what? What is happening? Why does that keep happening? We don't need to watch it six times. I'm so creamy. <laughs> Hot. Oh, that's spicy. The wings are just, these uh, chicken legs are just like from a box frozen. <laughs> so, <clears throat> they come eight in a box. I love parm cheese. Now, I told this story before. More cheese. Live stream. More cheese. Mrs. Jones has been a nesty bestie for two months. Awesome. Just got here. Are we doing crime scene analysis? I'm leaving it to the Kuwaiti police. I'm leaving it to them. I don't know what they want to do with her. This is several offenses now at this point, and I'm very concerned. I'm very concerned. She's using forks. I don't, like, on, you know, recorded and posted on YouTube, and she's in Kuwait. Right, to Lulu Pondu. Forks are illegal. They are. There's some newcomers, a lot of newcomers, so I want to welcome you to my channel. Please don't be afraid to speak up in my comments. I appreciate you being here. And, um... Look at the fork. I also just want... Look at the blatant usage of the fork. Oh, this is bad. I want to say... That it's much appreciated. So, yes, your viewership is much appreciated. Um, and... You know, there's millions of channels on YouTube and you're watching me, so awesome, thank you. Um, now, um, I had an embarrassing situation, okay? Oh my God, Chantal, what are you doing? I'm very concerned. No, there's a lot of cultural differences from where I come from. I'm a Westerner. I come from... What the fork? How could you possibly be blocked? You're asking what the fork is. Why would you be blocked? I haven't blocked anyone recently. <laughs> Not recently. It, people who get blocked really earn it. They actually really earn it. I don't block someone because I'm annoyed with them because I, I don't even block people that I don't like. It's It takes a lot to get blocked, so... You've never heard of this fork thing? Well, consider yourself informed. It is a big problem in Kuwait. Huge, huge problem. 
And you know how Chantal doesn't bother to research anything. She's going to go to jail. Not not our problem either. Um, Canada. Canada is very open socially. Meaning if you hiccup or something like that are loud in public, no one really notices. But here... <laughs> Yeah, exactly. John Galt, I'd be careful. Some people might get spork related blocked. I tried to make a spork emoji. It didn't work out because the emojis have to be perfectly square. So when I put the long fork inside of a square box, it looks so tiny. It just doesn't even look good. So I got to figure out something else about the forks. Do you think Salah knows about the forks? Of course he does. I think he's hoping that she continues to use the forks so she can get picked up on fork charges. And she'll probably get deported with all of her forks too, unless they confiscate them. I don't know. It's not like that. <laughs> Culturally, um, some things are generally just avoided in public if possible. Or like frowned upon because it's impolite. So, oh, they're spicy. Salah and I went shopping. One day, we needed um, what did we need? I can't remember. I think I wanted some. Oh, that's when I got my new Skechers. I wanted my own prayer mat, my own prayer rug, some Skechers, some towels, new towels. Just some things for the home. So we went to this market, the store. It's like a department store, I guess. And um, it was pretty packed. I think it was a weekend. So there's a couple of things here, a couple of things, okay? I know she's fascinating, right? Yeah couple of things. She does have her own prayer mat. Why is she getting another one? She does have one. They used to they used to keep them on the blue couch. She and Julia used to lay on them. They have like a pinkish purplish one and a blue one. So they had two prayer mats. So where's where's hers? Why does she? She said I have to get my own not like a new one. I have to get my own. So whose were you borrowing back then? Oh, she's talking about the past. Oh, God. Yes, yes, are you serious? It's called tenses. Remember when she said that? There are different tenses. Present, past, and future. So sorry. Yes, that's right. Yeah, it made me do it. The forks I planted seem to have cross-pollinated their sprouting sporks. Well, that's not good. That's not good at all. That's actually kind of dangerous. And uh, I'm sorry to hear that. But, you know, I think, I think as long as you keep it, you know, keep it on the down low, you should be fine. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Kaivella. <laughs> <laughs> we had to replace Woof Woof. I think this one is far more um, appropriate. Woof Woof. Just some things for the home. So we went to this market, the store. Uh huh. It's like a yeah. department store. We I guess. remember. We remember. And um, mm -hmm. it was pretty packed. I think it was a weekend. Mm -hmm. 
Why is she telling this story again? This is what prompted me to tell my story about the crumbly cookie in the bakery. If you guys remember that, those of you who are here, I'm not going to tell it again. Just like, I'm not going to repeat my stories like she's repeating hers. Come on now. Zero content. Absolutely. Yeah. How spicy. Already recycling stories. No new stories. That's right, ladies. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you're wondering why there's hardly ever any people in public, they mostly you know like to come out in the evenings or on the weekends here mm -hmm. right hey life and vibe hey alexis jim jones catnip no kimber it's spicy you remember the my cookie story oh my god it's so embarrassing Hot. yes the sugar everywhere <laughs> um so, we're in the department store. Look at this and I had just blatant usage of the fork. It's, oh my God, what is she, what is she doing? What is she doing? The chicken does look, yeah, the chicken doesn't look good at all. Not at all. No. You love Skechers, Poets Graffiti, and the shoes I have are just like hers? Yeah, but they're probably, you don't have to probably replace them every three weeks, right? I mean, I'm sure, you know? <laughs> I mean, if they're comfortable, who cares? You know, who cares? Did someone say cock? Yes. Uh, yes. Yes. Yeah, so the hiccuping thing is a thing. It is a thing. And I feel like I've talked about it 30 times. So did a fan request this meal? That's a good story, human being. Maybe someone that wants to do her in. Fried chicken and fettuccine Alfredo. Ugh. Used a screenshot from this live to slander me, I tell you, so you don't think I'm <laughs> Okay, John Galt, that's fine. <laughs> I trust you. <laughs> Your story was cute. Hers is always as is as always disgusting. Yeah. I mean, oh God. But I, I mean, I've never felt so, you know, like I mean, I I'm a normal person. I get embarrassed at times, right? But it's like stuff like that I just feel like is no big deal when you're when you're laughing and like oh my gosh all this powdered sugar starts coming out of your mouth and it just makes you laugh harder like my friends and I would die you know like falling over each other laughing and but no my ex was just looking at me horrified and then the bakers like with the tall white hats were horrified I'm like and that made me laugh even more I'm like why is everyone so horrified that you know so just yeah. gotten a new phone too i don't know i think it was a new iphone but then since then i went back to android and um by the way the pasta is al dente there's tons of people around. Um, and we're looking at different things. And there were a ton of people around me. Like, I know I say that, but like a whole bunch of people. Okay. And everyone just kind of minds their own business. All of a sudden, out of nowhere, I hiccup like, <gasps> but it was like a kind of a hiccup burp. She makes some very concerning faces while she's eating the chicken. And I guess it's spicy and her eyes do water. But this, I don't know what else is going on here. It's, she makes some very odd faces. Hey, Nicole E. And it came out of nowhere. Shit and kitten. <laughs> Look at her. Like. That can't taste good. Look at her. Of course, when we're in public, I hold everything in. Everything? You hold everything in? 
But the thing is, the hiccup came first. So I couldn't really control the burp coming after. So <laughs> your fingers have been all over hot chicken, hot spicy chicken. And you're going to fiddle with you're going to go into your your eyeballs with that? Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, Anna Bananas. Her, your husband noticed every time, almost every time she takes a bite, she looks up. Up or to the side? Yes. Yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? Yeah. She didn't need the flour to thicken the sauce. She added all that extra, quote unquote, parm. Right. And flour was not needed, I don't think. I think she has the cobra issue. Poor oral care, so inflamed gums with spicy and hard foods hurt and burn. If you notice, he only eats soft food or lets get soggy. I refuse to watch cobra. I can't. I've tried. I've tried on like on um, on House of Hannibal's channel. I've I've tried watching, but I it makes me a little bit physically ill to watch him doing anything. I don't know what it is. I get like a uh, internal response. I can't even watch. I know he makes his own wine and that's really all I need. And I've seen him tried to cook and I just had to, I had to, I had to dip. I'm like, I can't with this. I can't. He is nasty. It's too much for me. Like it's way too much. I have a hair in my eye. Oh, or lovely. Cat hair or something. Okay. And I don't want to touch it because I'm, <sighs> I'm eating something spicy. <clears throat> mm -hmm. So anyway, Rosebud, I would try to keep it that way if I were you. It's it's not a good time. I don't even know why, I don't even know why people are into watching him. I it, it's uh, the people I've seen react to him are mostly men, so maybe it's that's something to do with it. I don't know. Your mom threatened to block you if you send him to you to her. I don't blame her, John. I don't blame her. Don't do that to your mother. It's bad. Yeah, you always end up bailing her, Sinead. Me too. I can't. I mean, the little love interest he had for a little while was kind of interesting, but even that got really gross. So, I mean, it's just, it's just, ooh, I just can't. Hey, Jar number six, Megan eight. The recent stuff with the new girlfriend was interesting, but I can't watch normally. Right. Is she gone yet? Has she left yet? You're not, you're more into, you're not into more train wrecks. I want Chantel to end soon because I'm getting over it. <laughs> Alexis. Yeah. You're getting over it bad. Yeah. It's, uh, we're, we're definitely um, seeking out new material. So John did send me a DM on one that I'm looking at currently. If you have any ideas of uh, someone else we could watch that you think would be entertaining for most people, not, not King Cobra and not, not like, you know, the other ones, you know what I'm saying? Like, that whole genre I'm not really interested in. But if you have any ideas, um, definitely send me a DM on Twitter. I am open. Women, uh, men aren't really into super fat women eating. That's a woman thing. Male log cows are nearly always nasty. Yeah, I could see that. Yeah. Ugh. Immediately, my husband looks at me like he he's shocked. Like he doesn't know what to do. And immediately, like, everything goes silent and everyone is staring at me. Like, everyone is looking. And I don't get embarrassed easily, but I guess I felt embarrassed for my husband. <laughs> And I know you're thinking, well, it happens. Yeah, but. Look at the fork just laying there. Just laying there, waiting to be discovered by the authorities. What are you doing, Chantal? This is highly irresponsible. Highly. I don't, 
I just, I don't know what you're thinking, Chantal. I don't know what you're thinking. Very irresponsible. Everyone was staring. I think I got the hair. <laughs> And um, it was so embarrassing, kind of like, but you know when I'm nervous, I laugh. So I kind of laughed about it a little bit. I mean, like, it was loud. Like, I, I don't want to recreate it there, but... Oh, why not? You should just try to recreate it. Why not? You've already embarrassed yourself. Why not? Why not? We'd like... To, we'd love to hear it, wouldn't we? We would love to. So you're saying that Alfredo isn't even made with cream, like, traditionally? So it's butter and cheese? I mean, that's that sounds actually very good. And, yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. I mean, still, you know, you got, yeah, I don't think you're ever going to get away from the calorie component of Alfredo, but yeah, no cream, huh? Interesting. Interesting. I, 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 I love leafy greens. <laughs> I'm enjoying this. I love leafy greens. <laughs> I love eating healthy. Uh-huh. Sure. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. A 20 minute story about burping. Yes. This is how Italians cook it. Interesting. Okay. I believe it. I believe it. Definitely no flour though, huh? I think the flour is in the pasta. Is pasta a leafy green? If if you talk to Chantal, I'm sure she could make it into one. Yeah. She's recycling this story already, Purple Spirit. She told it months ago about the hiccup burp. I remember that. And I think the only reason I really remember is because people were like, nah, -uh, no way you hiccuped and people looked at you. And I was like, and I remember saying, I think, sh I think it happened. And I told you guys my story about the cookie in the bakery and it, my, how I made a mess laughing and no one thought it was humorous at all, at all. So I think it did happen. I don't, I can't even imagine telling a story multiple times because simply for the reason that I have nothing else to talk about. Like nothing prompted her to tell this story. You know, she's bringing it up on her own. She's got nothing to say. Nothing. About a hiccup several months ago? What? You wrote me a fork haiku? Oh, is it in my DMs or on, uh, or on public Twitter? I'll take a look. Loud to resonate throughout the store. Is it a real haiku though? Like with the correct number of whatever. <laughs> so after that settled down and people went on their way doing whatever. Mm -hmm. um, we're looking through <laughs> gym equipment. Oh, I remember. See, remember how long ago that was? When they were looking at gym equipment in that store. That was like. 10 years ago, at least, at least, at least 10 years ago, at least. Unbelievable. And don't forget the prettiest girl on YouTube. That's right. Uh, John Galt, if you guys are on Twitter at all, John Galt um, just, just outed me to all of Twitter and said, are you serious as a snitch? Guess who called the fork police? <gasps> cop car that says forks on it <laughs> that's so funny all right let me bring it up i'm looking at it on my phone i'll um hey 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 and like the sporting section this is right when around when we were starting the gym and um I put my phone down to check for to 
it helps a lot look for a size like uh, his size and like these arm cuff things for the gym okay and I, for I forget my phone like brand new iPhone and like Salah paid cash for it which makes it worse. In Canada, I always used to just pay monthly for my phone, like on a contract. But Salah hates doing that, so. He bought me my phone outright. And I think we got it like that day too. So, I didn't notice until we get to where I'm, I'm, I get my Skechers, all the way in the shoe area. And I was like, wait, I want to film something. <laughs> I noticed my phone's not there. I like, my face got hot, my heart started pounding. And I start panicking. And I start like heading back towards, like we start like, just he was ahead of me like trying to run because he's faster than me. And the sooner you get there the better. So I'm following him. back to the sports area and the phone is not there oh my god I mean is this content is this content really would paying off the phone monthly as a part of a contract be seen as debt that's a very good question Ms. Mac hmm you can have well as long as you're not paying interest as long as you're not paying interest, it's okay, as far as I know, as far as I know. But um, I tend to buy mine just unlocked, like a year or two old, and I just buy it outright, and I don't like contracts or anything of the sort, so I don't really know how that would work. I don't like to, to have contracts, period, so I don't know. Um, Catnip Made Me Do It just gifted one Are You Serious membership. Oh my god, thank you. Oh, thank you so, so much. And it looks like Delulu Pondu received it. Yeah! Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you very much. So, um, John Galt uh, is calling me a snitch, okay, on Twitter. All right, this is the type of slander that I have to endure. Um, guess who called the fork police, okay? And here we have my, me and my chef's hat over there, okay? We have um, the fettuccine with the fork circled. And the best part is there is a cop car here uh, from Forks. It says Forks Police on it. How did you find this? I love it. Is this like a, it's got to be like a town or something, right? If I could find more pictures of their fleet, <laughs> I could do a lot with this. <laughs> Fork, Indiana? Okay, thank you. <laughs> like from Twilight? Oh, oh my God, I haven't seen those in forever. Forks, Washington, could be. 
Yeah, Marwa, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. Can we make the, that the emoji? What, the car? <laughs> or a fork? <laughs> I've, been, I've been messing around with the, um, with the spork today, and it really didn't work out. So I got to keep working on it. And then we have a haiku from John Galt. Uh-huh. Okay. Forks, once free to roam, now contraband, their prongs hide, silent rebellion. <laughs> I love it. And then we have the owl with the forks. And look at that fork right out there. Oh, right out there. She's so blatant. Oh, my God. Wow. Well, so, yeah, this is the harassment that I endure on Twitter. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. It is. Yeah, yeah. I love the haiku. And, yeah, we'll definitely uh, look up the cop car. I mean, I could get a cop car and just write forks on it. You know, fork enforcement, maybe. <laughs> the fork enforcement division. Fed fork enforcement division. <laughs> The Fed is here. Oh, my God. The federal government? No, the Fork Enforcement Division. Oh, my God. You almost missed the Fork Rebellion dumpster rollos. It was close. It was close. Fork Patrol. So, I'm freaking out. I'm feeling so bad. I don't know. How, I don't remember how much the phone was. It must have been like almost, I don't know. They're like, what, almost $2,000 for a brand new one? Like 14 Pro Max? Okay. I mean, he may have bought her an iPhone like way back 27 years ago. But I remember they ended up, she ended up getting a Samsung. She got a Samsung. It was one terabyte. It was, uh, I remember, like, I'd have to, Samsung, it's like an S24 or something. And even that, that's over $1,000. And then he got a phone for himself at that time. But she didn't stay with the iPhone. I think, yeah, I think they got it and she didn't like it. And they, they traded it in and she went back to Android. Yeah. It sounds like the lost wedding ring story. Human being just replacing ring with phone every, even the wording of the story, very similar, remember? Yeah, oh yeah, the running back thing. Yep, left her um, wedding band in the in the airport bathroom, allegedly. Can you make Chantel riding on a fork like a witch on a broomstick, Nancy Jennings? Ah, that, I'm sure we could. That would be adorable. Mm -hmm. That would be great. <laughs> Nice. Love it. Thank oh, you, Kybella. There we go. So why don't you thank Kybella? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we could make an image like that. Oh, yeah. Because I, yeah, I, I think we could. Yeah. <laughs> so maybe a little bit less. I don't know. Anyway, it was expensive. So, um, so law goes up to one of the workers. That's right, because it didn't have filters. That's right, you guys. That's right, you remembered. Yep. Okay, so the fork thing. Okay, by the way, if you're fairly new, welcome. It's great to have you here. Everyone's welcome in the nest. Come on in. So uh, I created my channel in the very beginning to combat a lot of Chantal's misinformation that she put out about Islam. Uh, Muslim women don't swim, can't swim. Uh, there was so much BS that she was putting out and um and i had to step forward i had to step forward and say stop no that is not true and try to correct a lot of the things that she was putting out she continues to do this she answers questions that she has no idea what the answer is she still tries to answer them you know it's okay if you just say you don't know you're not expected to know everything i don't know everything either but she still tries to answer things and she inevitably puts out incorrect information and people come to my channel to verify if what she said was correct. Is it okay if she's doing this? What about that? And a lot of it was just complete BS that there was no answer to because it's not even a thing. Not even a thing. So um, since she does very, very rarely eat with forks, you know, people ask me all the time, why is she doing this? Why is she doing that? Why doesn't she never eat with a fork? 
One day I just said forks are illegal in Kuwait. You can't. That's why. That's why we never see her eat with forks. It's always a spoon, serving spoons, her hands most of the time. You know, forks are illegal. And uh, we very, 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 very rarely see her use forks. So when we do, when we do, um, we have to call it out because, you know, she is going to get caught up. I'm afraid she is going to get caught up in a fork sting. And you can see here that many forks were apprehended. This is a, um, a jail cell in Kuwait. Now, if they had legs, they could probably just climb to the top and go over the top, but they don't. So they can just kind of corral them in like this. And you can see me, the snowy owl, just, you know, coming in to try to rescue them. So, yeah, it's very serious. We've had, we've had discussions at length, at length about it. <laughs> it took her a year to buy forks. Ah, well, see, but then we have, you know, we have the... We have the debate about a spork. You know, sporks also come into this. Don't biss on my sprouting fork sporks. <laughs> I can't even read that. Catnip made me do it. Okay. Hey, you know, that's un that's your business. You're the one that decided to put it out there. You know, you're putting it out there. Thank you, Kaibella. You're welcome. Thank you, Catnip. <laughs> So, you know, and then we have the conversation, what about sporks? What about plastic sporks? Because it's not really a true fork. It's also kind of a spoon. And we discussed that it's really a slippery slope, you know, and if you do get caught with a spork in the country of Kuwait, I do recommend obtaining representation, getting an attorney, but you have to make sure if it's a foreign attorney, tell them not to bring a fork with them into the courtroom, you know, because, you know, they might want to show like the difference between a fork and a spork, but if they have it with them in the courtroom, mm -mm -mm, no, I mean, they could go to jail just for having it in the courtroom with them. So, you know, it's it's a big problem in Kuwait. I think that Chantal is aware of it. But, um, you know, she just doesn't seem to care. She doesn't care. Who's in Forks Anonymous, Charlene? I don't even I don't even think that's legal to run those meetings in Kuwait. I don't. So here's the spork I was going to use as an emoji. OK, but it is it looks very lame when you put it in the chat. Anything that looks like kind of cool. You know, it just doesn't really work out when you try to make an emoji out of it. So, because it's slender. What I could do, I guess, is cut off some of the end of it, and then it would look more like this in the chat. But, I don't know, you guys will have to let me know what you think. Yeah. The person is like, did you see a phone? Did anyone report a phone? And um, he's like, oh yeah, you lost your phone, you know. It's in the security office and I just like, oh my gosh, thank you, thank you. Um, I am keeping it there intentionally. Oh, thank you. So um, we went to the security office and he showed ID and um, I don't know why he had to show ID. Cause it's not like they would know whose phone it is maybe. Oh yeah, if you unlock the phone, it would be in there, yeah. That's true. So, that was uh, embarrassing as well. Because, again, I made a kind of a ruckus. Because, like, most people, especially women, are kind of, like, quiet, more quiet in the public, especially. Very modest behavior. And my behavior was anything but modest. I was, like, freaking out, calling after him. I was, like... Oh no, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. People were like looking at us. It was totes embarrassing. Um, I was more just like, I didn't even think of anyone around us, you know? I was just more concerned with like getting the phone back, you know? Anyway. Anyway. You don't mind my job. It's totally. It's messy. okay. We can barely see it. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. Thought oh, we loved it. Alfredo Thanks. was awesome, definitely. And uh, Salah doesn't like Alfredo, and it's a little too rich for him right now. So I just make him plain. <laughs> it's too rich for people without a gallbladder. Okay, Chantal, you're the one without the gallbladder. I mean, come on.
macaroni with a bit of tomato and salt and pepper and a little bit of butter. You know, like the traditional tomato and macaroni. Not fresh tomatoes, but tinned tomatoes work best for that anyway. <laughs> Anyways, guys, um, I guess that's it for now, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Okay. Okay, then. Bye-bye, Chantal. Bye-bye. Yeah, so... I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know what's going to happen with that fork that she was Hello. using. Wow. We have a fairly new doggy in the neighborhood. It's a girl. Okay. She's gorgeous. I love her to death. I don't, I, I told the owner, I don't care if she comes over here and she was hiding her bone in my yard. How cute is that? But, uh, my dogs, when they hear her, they don't like it. I understand, okay? It's your property. It's your territory. But she's just a little girl, you know? Really. It's it's like, it's not a problem. You don't have to be worried, okay? Yeah. <laughs> they have a little crush. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they do, like, peek through the fence at her, like, all creepy. Like, I'm like, don't be a creep, okay? Make yourself known. Because what if she squats to pee and they're watching? You know what I mean? I mean, you know, it's the animal kingdom. I don't really know. But whatever, whatever, whatever. So... I have something else that I would like to, uh, I would like to discuss with you. I do. <laughs> it's, uh, I would say that it's not that dramatic, but it actually is. Okay. It does involve drama. It does. It may not be exactly what you're thinking, however. Okay. All right. So <laughs> not like that. Not like that. So someone left a comment on I think it was this last live stream and I found it so interesting that I did a deep dive on what they told me about so let me read the comment to you because I think this is actually going to start a series on this channel like that's how interesting it is it really is all right let me see if it's on this one. that I could get my hips with the speaker on that's not good okay let's see they talk about something called, and we do have psychologists who watch this channel. So I'm especially interested in your feedback on this because I am a true lay person and I don't have, you know, I didn't go to school for psychology. Okay. I, um, I have some experience with it, not from, you know, from my personal experience, but also from another perspective that doesn't involve myself on a personal level. That probably sounds really vague and like, huh? What is she talking about? It's okay. Don't worry about it. <laughs> okay. This person wrote a very thoughtful comment. Might not have been on this channel, on this video. It might have been on another one. I wish I had screenshot it. But they basically talk about something called transactional analysis. Let me look at this one. It might be here. And Transactional analysis is a way of looking at things. I can't wait to like talk to you guys about it. We are going to watch a very short video that kind of introduces one component of it. If you're into psychology and if you're into the other night, we kind of talked about, we talked about it a little bit later, like towards the end of the stream about how the community as a whole and how we relate to each other. And is there a common thread between all of us? You know, I tend to think that there is. Who, why are people drawn to watch like Chantal? Me. Why are people drawn to certain reaction channels that they're drawn to and not others? I just find the whole thing fascinating. Alexis, you're in psychology and sociology. Perfect. Perfect. And I really hope they didn't delete their comment, but because I don't remember the person's name offhand. Anyway, anyway, what we're going to look at now, please, please. Hey, 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 hey. Sorry, sorry. We have issues. We have issues. Sorry. But anyway, okay. I can't find her comment. Oh, I hope she didn't delete it. All right. Maybe she did. Okay. Because I left a, a lengthy 
maybe not so lengthy comment. Anyway, anyway, anyway. So transactional analysis is what this person brought up. And it's basically how people relate to each other. Okay, but I had been looking into something else um, at another point when I had a different channel also about the psychology of that community. She's here. She's here. Oh, Anonymous, is that you? You deleted it? Oh, I'm sorry, Anonymous. Please, sir, I'm having a serious talk here. Can you stop? Please? Please? Please. And I can't let him out because he's going to yell at the little girl. Anonymous. Oh, shoot. I wish I had... Uh, I wouldn't have shown the screenshot, but I just wanted to refer back to it. Yeah. Anonymous. Transactional analysis, right? Well, I started look. I started watching videos right away on that. I basically spent Friday and Saturday listening to all of that, okay, and finding and the um, the creator of um, what's his name, Eric um, Byrne, Eric Byrne, right, in like the sixties. Yes, Marwa, exactly. It's a rather dated theory, as I recall. Thank you, Mrs. Jones. Mrs. Jones is a, is a um, psychologist, I believe, and is rooted in Freudian theory regarding ego. Yes, the I'm okay, you're okay, I'm okay, you're not okay. I'm not okay, you're okay, I'm not okay, you're not okay. <laughs> okay, 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 all right. But there came up, the something came up that I had been looking into on my other channel, like like a year or so ago, with a psycho a uh, um, social psychologist, a friend that I made on my other channel, and we used to talk together and have you know talks about the community and stuff. And we, I had looked into something called the Karpman drama triangle, and she kind of said the same thing, Mrs. Jones, that it was a dated theory, but I think it really applies to this, to. YouTube channels with the fans, the haters, the oppressed, the oppress the oppressors, all of that. So I would like to get into that a little bit. So this is just a short introduction to the Cartman Triangle, if you are interested. Um, I definitely am. And I would love to, uh, to talk about it little by little, you know, when we can. And I definitely am not trying to overstep my own, you know, ability here, but I think it's very interesting. This is a model to help us understand how conflict arises between people, often in dramatic or intense relationships or interactions. And it was conceived by a guy called Stephen Cartman in 1968. And it involves three different roles. Um, one that's kind of called a one down role and two that are called one up roles. These three roles are the victim, the rescuer, and the persecutor. And I think understanding how these roles work can really help us to identify how we could be resolving potentially destructive interactions that are quite draining on our energy. So let's start with the victim role. And I think the victim role is quite self-explanatory. It's the person who feels helpless and powerless like they can never cut a break or they can never get ahead in life. They often think things like, you know, this always happens to me. Another role in this drama triangle is the rescuer. And this person um, is someone who takes responsibility for other people's problems and they kind of make it their own problem. But at the same time, they don't really look at their own life, um, which could in fact be a complete mess and they'll see people who might be going through a difficult time and think, oh, look at that person, you know, um, they need help, I'm nice, so I'll help them. Or maybe something a bit more parental, like, if that person did what I said, they'd be happy. And I think the dynamic that we often see play out between the victim and the rescuer is something that we see in movies and you know, romantic comedies all the time. It's something that we almost think is normal, but it really is an unhealthy interaction. So the third role in this triangle is the persecutor. This is a person who is frustrated. They're kind of self-righteous and a bit of a bully. Um, you know, and they might think things like, you know, they're wrong and I'm right and they need to do what I say. 
or that person will get what's coming to them. Another thing that's really important to recognise about this triangle is that each of these roles move between each other. So, you know, the rescuer can become the persecutor or the persecutor can become the victim um, or the victim be can become the persecutor. So they all kind of move around. Another concept that's really important to understand when talking about the drama triangle is this idea of the starting gate. We tend to have this one role that we most naturally sort of enter into. So for instance, you know, one person might often go straight to the victim role where someone else might jump into the rescuer role. And the other thing that's really interesting about this is that our starting gate role sort of is part of what we see as our own identity. Um, and like I said before, we shift from one role to the other. Um, inevitably, we all end up in the victim role, feeling powerless and helpless and unable to do anything. And that's why it's really important to work out strategies for how to get out of this triangle. So I guess that brings me to the next question, how do we get out of this drama triangle? So let's take it by looking at each role again. So in the one down victim role, um, we need to become a survivor. In order to do this, um, we need to... So she's now offering ways that if you identify as a victim, you know, generally, because we do switch between the roles. Why are you barking every time I talk? Why? We're not having a conversation, sir, okay? I can talk to you in a minute. He's silent while I'm playing this, but I start talking, he starts talking, he starts barking. So sorry. So she's talking now about ways to, you know, to try to reframe things so that you can come out of the victim role, how to think of things in a different way. And she's going to go through each of them. And we do tend to, you know, like our, our default tends to be one of them is the theory. And but we can go into other roles also. We think like a problem solver and ask ourselves questions like, what do I want? And what steps can I take to get what I want? Another useful thing to do is to reflect on the good things that are going our way. So we can make a note of it in a calendar or a diary, uh, you know, ask ourselves questions like, what are three things that I'm grateful for today? Or at the end of each week, we could ask ourselves, what did I achieve this week? So let's move on to the rescuer role again. If this is where you tend to find yourself sitting, you need to think of yourself as a teacher or a coach rather than as a rescuer. You need to remember the golden rule about teaching a man to fish. So you need to support and encourage the person in ways to identify and solve their problems rather than rushing in to solve it for them. You can ask them things like, what is it that you want to see happen in this situation or what do you think you can do to change this? Also, you need to make sure that you set boundaries. Setting boundaries around the time that you're able to listen to the person and letting them know that is really important. In some ways, it's a similar situation with the starting gate persecutor, who, like the rescuer, puts themselves in this sort of one-up power, powerful position. The difference is, with this role, is that you need to become a challenger. You need to be firm, but fair in your approach to people. And you, to help the person recognise how you're feeling, you need to sort of address the consequences of their actions and set boundaries. So for instance, you could say something like, if you, if you keep your side of the agreement, I can keep mine. As with the rescuer, it's important to remember um, to set these boundaries and recognise that this isn't your problem to solve. By freeing ourselves from this drama triangle, we are able to have happier, healthier relationships with people. We won't feel so drained and powerless. And we'll also be able to identify toxic relationships that we may in fact be better off without. What do you think? Let me get these forks off the screen. <laughs> Let me remove these forks. They're so, you know, they're so, it's so jarring. In fork jail there. There we go. There we go. So yes, I found this extremely interesting. Um, where are you? Anonymous. Yes. Um, I know I replied once and I think you wrote something after that. I've been, I, I tried to a couple times, maybe you had already deleted it to go back because I wanted to write more in response, but I couldn't, you know, I, I get, why are you, can you please stop? Why? 
I can't let you out right now because your neighbor girlfriend is out there and you're gonna go you're gonna harass her and I don't want you to do that. Okay? I raised you to be a nice boy. I know. He's so he's so done with me right now. So sorry, so sorry. You know, mom's gotta do stuff too, okay? But I went back to it a couple of times to respond and I was scrolling through, couldn't find it. I'm like, maybe it was just like I just did now. Maybe it's on that other video and then I'd get I have to do, go do something else. So I'm glad that um, that you're here for sure. I really did. It, I thought a lot about it, and I started searching for some videos right away. And I'm gonna I'm looking into Eric Burns, the rest of his work that he's done over the years, and because he's done a lot of interesting research for sure. And I was when I, I mean I couldn't believe it when I got to the Cartman drama triangle. I'm like, oh my god, I discussed this on my last channel about YouTube. Very interesting. Um, I had a spate of not being treated very well by other reactors, and I went on a deleting speed. But I will remember not to on this site. I would hope so. I would hope. I would hope. Because, I mean, I mean, I would really like to get more into this. It, it's interesting to know that if, that usually if people get therapy and recover and come off the drama triangle, they will usually always be viewed as the perpetrator because they will be seen as a threat. Really, Anonymous. Yeah, I found that very interesting how, um, you know, you talked about the different ego, the child ego, the adult ego, and the parent ego. But like, I just like, I, uh, I mean, I want to learn more and more and more and more and more about it. <laughs> really, and how you identify because they say, like, over time, the more you practice it, the more you learn to identify different, you know, roles, even like on the drama triangle or in the ego, that you can take a step back and identify who's in what role. And then, you know, you can, you know, you don't have to get involved at all, right? Or you can, you know, if you do need to be involved, you know how to address the person because you know where they're coming from. You know, they might be in a parental role a child role, or an adult role. Because un unhealthy people hate boundaries, exactly. They really do. And especially when you enforce them. That's right. Yeah. So did any of you identify with any part of that? Do you think that you might be a rescuer? Are you a victim? Or are you a perpetrator? By default, they say that we might be, we might have one of those as default, and we do occasionally go into other roles. Did you guys identify yourselves there at all? The truth of it is we all have narcissistic traits. <laughs> you tend towards rescuer, Sachi Bell, Mrs. Jones, rescuer. Rescuer, but vacillate between all three at times, right? Perpetrator here, Stella. Okay. Unfortunately, leaders need followers. When the follower branches out, the leader resents the follower getting strong. That's right, tell you. Yep. Your perpetrator, Cassandra. Rosebud's a rescuer. Personal cooking channel, a rescuer. I cycle around all of them unless I work a 12 step program. Okay. Interesting. All of the above, tater tot, hot dish, biscuits as I can relate to victim, which flares up my rescue mode. Victim, but a bit of all of, bit of all of them, depending on the situation. Yep, yeah, all. Rescuer, but I feel like for the most part, I've learned to set boundaries in my personal life. Yep. Yeah. You've historically been the victim. Rescuer. Interesting, very interesting. And, you know, if you kind of take a step back and look at the girl world community as a whole, you can identify different roles. And you can see how Chantal, it's, it's fascinating, Anonymous, fascinating. And you can see, Chant, like if we take Chantal, for instance, right? She, most of the time, I would say, well, look at, I'm looking at like, say, Chantal and Nader, right? Chantal tends, to, from what I've seen, tends to vacillate between victim and rescuer with Nader. 
and at times persecutor. So she definitely identifies as an abuse victim from Nader. But when she was, you know, with him or dating him, she was the rescuer. She was paying for his rent, paying for all these things, trying to help him with, the, with this. So oh, I'll help you build a channel, you know. And then, you know, he starts off and running with his channel and still needs her to do the thumbnails and everything, which she happily does because she's still in a rescuer mode. But when, you know, he calls things off and goes on with Dee, Dee then she becomes in the victim role primarily where, you know, oh, he victimized me. You know, when really, she, you know, I mean, she could have been all three. But then we hear her persecute him to some degree, not saying that, you know, he doesn't deserve it whatsoever. But she will, you know, say certain things about him that also reinforces her victim role. I just think it's so interesting. I think a lot of rescuers are the ones who tried to give Chantal advice when they first found her. Yes. And then turned into haters when she was rude. Yeah. Well, rescuers tend to get burned out. They tend to get burned out. Like, you know, all I'm trying to do is help this person and care about them. But as like more of the transactional analysis goes into, rescuers are not necessarily all altruistic. Rescuers like to, and I, I tend to identify as a rescuer primarily. And, but similar to you, Poison Petty Poor, I've definitely have boundaries now where I realize it's better to teach a man to fish than to give a man a fish, you know. Um, catnip made me do it. Sounds a lot like schema therapy. It's fascinating to study, by the way. Love you. Are you serious? And the nest. We love you too. Catnip made me do it. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Kybella. Thank you, Kybella. <laughs> thank you, Catnip. You're a rescuer, but it's hard now because people take advantage of it. Right, Alexis? And then, as rescuers, we start to feel resentful that we're doing so much rescuing and not paying attention to our own lives and our own problems, which is our own doing, not focusing on those things. And then it's very easy to slide into a victim role. Like, oh, all I do is help people and they, you know, they betray me and all that. It's really interesting. I gave this thought and I believe I alternate royal roles depending on the situation, Sonia Walker. Yep, yep. Used to be a rescuer. With much therapy, I no longer need to try and save people. Setting boundaries are so important for a healthy psyche. Definitely, definitely, yep. Boundaries are needed in all relationships, yes. And you can see it too between reaction channels, the main subject, whether it's Chantal or Amber Lynn, and their fans. Therapy has helped Creepy Corner. Yeah, good. Yeah, I mean, usually does for sure. Yeah. Because Chantal can view herself as a victim from reaction channels. They're the reason I don't get views. They steal all my views. They're using my content and making money off of it. And that should be my money. She victimized, she makes herself into a victim and the reaction channels are the persecutors. Like we have, you know, we had nothing but bad things to say about her. We say she's an awful person and we're taking her money and her views. She's putting herself into a victim role. Do the Beezers then see themselves as rescuers? Like, I'm here for you, Chantal. I'm here for you, Chantal. You know, I'm a beezer. The Cartman Triangle of Drama, right. Look at how Chantal was with big payers. Yeah, yeah. And this is really, um, we, we definitely don't, we aren't all one of these things. And you will, you know, this is where we get into the transactional analysis, Anonymous. If you want to talk more about that, that would be awesome. Because it depends on a situation. And I think it's Dr. Eric Byrne that says the games that people play with each other. So, I mean, someone's trying to get something out of an interaction, whether you're conscious of it or not. Even if it's just to walk away feeling good, 
you're trying to get something specific out of it, that other person is expecting to get something else out of it. Beezers see themselves as rescuers, and a lot of people expect YouTube to be the rescuer. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you would think, right? You would think YouTube would want to help you if you're being physically threatened and, you know, all kinds of nasty stuff, but they don't. They are, they they definitely stay out of that role. They don't want it. Yep. Claudio Beachball, I tend towards rescuer, but slid to prosecutor. Persecutor, sorry. But with therapy and support group, I tend to let go of that need to either help or to be right. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Okay, juror number six, have a great day. That would be fascinating, says Ems. I love that kind of stuff and a huge part of why I enjoy the World World Reaction channels. I find it fascinating. I really do. I started watching Chantal last year about this time, but when I uh, when I ditched my cable, and at first I couldn't figure out and why everyone was so mad at her, always so mad at her, right? Thank you, Sleepy Turtle. Link the video. Yes. Yes. I actually downloaded it, so I have to go try to find the link now. Yeah. Yeah, it's a, definitely a good uh, a good little overview, you know? It goes very, very in-depth, but that is an overview of at least the drama triangle part of it. And we always, if we are engaged in the drama to some degree, we are playing a part. And where some people will say, I don't like drama. I don't want to... <laughs> I don't want to be in drama. You are keeping yourself there. No one's dragging you in. You can only be in drama if you choose to participate in it. And, you know, if you learn more about it, you may see how that's happening, how that's actually happening. Mm. Yeah, this is it. I found it. Let me put a link in the chat to this video. So what do you guys think? Is that something that you would be interested in exploring a little bit more? Yeah. First major in college was psychology, then I became an RN I later in life. Tell you today that Oops. Your feelings yeah. are valid. Your trauma. Okay, thank you. That's a real therapy uh, ad. <laughs> cool. The pup says yes. Oh, yeah. I was always the rescuer, then get mad. Nowadays, they let people rescue themselves. Yeah. Yeah. You think, oh, as a rescuer, I just want to help people. I just want, you know, I'm a good person. I want to help people. But then eventually, you know, you pour your cup out completely and then you get resentful. Well, I help them fix all their problems or I expended all my energy trying to help them fix their problems. And I've let myself go in the meantime. Yeah. Hell to the yes. <laughs> cool, cool was a rescuer all my life. 10 years of therapy have stopped it a lot. People that take advantage of that still gravitate towards me. But nowadays, I immediately view them with deep resentment. Interesting. Yeah, I thought so fatty to fed. I thought you'd be into that. Yeah. Yeah, come on in, sleepy turtle. I think I just think watching this boring person eating her beige food, talking about absolutely nothing it's like isn't there you know why are we all here watching this why why are there thousands of people watching all of this nothing happen so i'm far more interested in the dynamics between everybody than i am in chantal she's just a bad person straight up <laughs> it's about setting boundaries and knowing when it's time to walk away right you take breaks on Girl World, it gets really toxic, so I have to step away. It really does. People sometimes just get way too invested. I love you, Shanta. Way too invested. Yeah. Sandwich, welcome. We need something to liven her up. Yes, I agree. She's boring AF. She really is. And it's like, how long do we just watch this non-tent waiting for something to happen? We've been waiting for something to happen for about a year. Nothing's happening, you know. You check in here and like chat, but mostly I now craft and listen to music for craft fairs. Makes good cash. That's awesome, Creepy Corner. Yeah, and you got your pooch. And then they go real life and it's never pretty. Exactly, Sleepy Turtle. Mm-hmm. 
It'd be nice to see her improve or go away. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But Chantal is never in adult ego state. Right. Right. Never. Is it possible? I'm sure the psychologists know this. Is it possible that it's it hasn't even developed in her? Because I was listening to something about, you know, the child ego state and, you know, responding to the parent ego state and saying, no, I'm going to do what I want. I'm going to do what I want. And that's basically what Chantal does. Is she responding to the Beezers who actually want good for her, who suggest healthy things? Is she responding to them as if they are parents telling her what to do, what's good for her? And she just wants to say, no, I do what I want. She is stuck on id. Interesting. We need different stuff to watch. It's more interesting. Yes. If something pops off, we can go back in. But this mukbang era is dead. I agree. I agree. It's beyond boring. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sleepy turtle. <laughs> Seems like you come from a rational level and that's rare. Well, I just like to think a little bit deeper about things, you know? I don't know. That, I mean, the, the fettuccine Alfredo and the chicken, there's only so much you can say about that. Telling a story that she already told us six months to a year ago. What is there to say about that? Not much. We've already discussed it when she told it the first time. Yeah. You suffered untold trauma as a child in my adult ego state didn't develop until I got into therapy. Okay. Yeah, it makes sense. It makes sense. Yeah, Anonymous, I really want to hear your theories about like more in depth, especially about the community, just different observations that you've had. And yeah, don't go on a deleting spree and delete my channel, you know? Because I'm interested in talking with you. I watch because lack of self-awareness fascinates me. Watching it with people who are aware makes it tolerable. Yeah, yeah. Because then you don't get drawn into their their version of reality, which is toxic. Yeah. I thought, okay, a couple months off Gore World as it was affecting my peace. Yes, anytime this stuff really starts to get to you, absolutely take a break. She's beyond toxic. And trying to make sense of her or her surroundings or what's going on with her, you know, I don't think she does make sense. And you'd even, you'd have to know stuff that she tells you is honest and most of the time it's not so you're just making guesses on things that may not even actually exist and that's just that's completely fruitless i'm curious as to why her supporters can't see her bad behavior it seems so obvious right lucy jane me too me too you think chantal is a prime candidate for a narcissistic yeah i don't know Hello, Grateful Little Farm. How are you? You never raw dog, so that's interesting. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah, too tired. We're, we're just about wrapping up here. Can we watch her live? Is she live right now? I didn't get a uh, notification. She's not live. Yes, she is live. <laughs> the chat. Uh, hey, can we not, sir? My goodness. Why? Um, I don't think she's live. Unless I'm... I might have unsubscribed from her to help with that sub count a little bit. Let's see. Every day. Miriam. She is live? Okay. Live. Live dinner. Yeah, we could snipe if you want to. Sure. We could. I will um, take my dog outside once I get it up and running for you guys. Because he's going to be a problem. <laughs> I love him. I do love him. 
But he's a lot. What? Sir. Okay, 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 okay. Hey, can you can you wait a minute, honey? Ah! Oh my god. Gonna be coming from your mama live? Why? Purples. He's at his fifth apartment. Tommy, we so. <laughs> um, the Alfredo Brook, thank you. Yeah, it was really yummy, actually. But I didn't eat anything. I didn't eat any more of it because it kind of upset my tummy. Very rich and cream and butter. Hi, Walaikum Salam, Habibti. Thank you. <laughs> oh, look, it's foodie beauty. Oh, gob. What? What the hell? Hello, uh, Olga, Bali, everybody. Look at this cool container it comes in. <laughs> okay, let's. Uh, this is the match boost, so let's first eat the appetizers. This is like my first meal. I slept a lot today. Oh my gosh. I don't know what's wrong with me. I think I'm having a bad mental health a few days because that's, these are pickles. Mahalid. Mahalid is how you say pickles in Arabic. I'm learning, guys. I might take an Arabic class. This is some kind of creamy red sauce. Yummy, okay. Look at all the sauces. Pita chips for the soup and a lemon wedge for the soup. Oh, I think that's for the kibba. I'll ride with you until the wheels fall off. Thank you, Norma Jean. Julia, do you want this box? Watch, she's gonna, I bet you. Come, come, come. She's gonna sit in it. Mabooch. March 11th, oh really, for sure? Depends on the moon, eh? I'm in anger management. I need that. I do, Merry World? Mukhalil, Mukhalil. <laughs> I try, but some words, like I still say hijab and not salahs, like it's hijab. <laughs> okay, this is my favorite. Mixed kibba. Kibba. I'm gonna try with the sauce. No, he, uh, had some fish earlier. Hi, Carrie. I'm doing okay, how are you? Okay, guys, get ready. Gotta roll my sleeves. Okay, this one is potato and dill. Yum. Mmm, I love leafy <laughs> Oh my <greens>. God. <laughs> I'm enjoying Amanda, this. Amanda, welcome salam. So Ramadan is coming. I'm trying to think of Ramadan recipes. Everybody cooks fish here. From what I traditionally see, people meal prep. So like, um, they make like sambosa. Hi, Hissy Fit. Please recycle island. Okay. Miss Southern Bell, thank you, Miss Southern Bell. That means a lot. Thank you so much for the super chat. Super sticker. <laughs> Melissa, front porch sitting today in Southern Illinois. Hello. Enjoy. Last night I dreamt of San Pedro. <laughs> this one is, I don't know what kind of kibbeh it is. Mmm. Plain. No, happy dog, I don't. <laughs> I don't have any court. <laughs> Two Ramadans in 2030. 
Thanks, Miss Southern Belle. <laughs> Welcome to Mermaids. Ready, set, bees. Yeah, some of your gifted memberships are dro have dropped off, I guess, eh? Thanks for renewing, Applebee's. So it's 10.30 p.m. in Kuwait at the moment, 10.35 p.m. It is 65 degrees Fahrenheit or 18 degrees Celsius. Current humidity is 72%. Papa John's. Papa John's. Do you guys remember when I went to Papa John's in Canada? Um, some people called the cops on me because I thought it was burnt out of my mind. And the cop came and he shined the flashlight in my face and my eyes. He was like, you look, you don't look burnt. I was like, yay. <laughs> I wasn't. Lentil soup. My longest sub was my HelloFresh. Why such a huge box? I don't know, Pure storage. Um, Silvayel, so we are having um, match boost, kubba, and lentil soup right now. They called the cops, yeah, because they thought I was driving burnt, and uh, I just noticed there's no cutlery with this. I'll be right back. And uh, so anyway, I was in, and the cops flashed the flashlight in my face, and uh, oh, last night I dreamt of. Anyways, so <sighs> anyways, he's called the call. Peanut stew, no name, yeah. Is that a spoon? It's called mafe. It's a West African dish. Mm -hmm. Spoon. Yeah, I'm going to put these pitas. Playing it safe, huh, Chantal? Oh, yeah. I got to make my own pita chips. So, yeah. So, for Ramadan prep, I was thinking of making, like, some sambusa. Um, what else? What else do people make? Vine leaves. Big batch. Lentil soup. <laughs> now it's stuck in my head too, Christy. Mmm. Now, I'm going to be doing a no makeup challenge. Because honestly, it's such a pain. Hi, Natalie. It's so good. It's such a pain to take off your makeup. Like, okay, you can't wear makeup when you're praying, right? I think maybe like the only thing I'm gonna wear is lip balm and some coal. Like what I'm wearing right now in my eyes. Scrape quotes obsessed with Pete's. <laughs> Do I prefer Middle Eastern food over Western food? Yeah, because you know what? She prefers food, period. What is, like, Western cuisine? You know what I mean? Like, what is, okay, like, for example, what's Canadian cuisine? Putin, you know? Sorry. Um, it all comes from, because Canada's, like, multicultural, and it's kind of like a melting pot, and it's a newer country, right? So it's influenced by other, um, like, there's a lot of French food. <laughs> yeah she said coal it's um it's spelled like this k-o-h-l and it's um it's eyeliner black eyeliner 
And yeah, during um, right before you pray, you have to um, you have to wash in a certain way. We call it wudu, and it does involve washing your face. So you need to be able to have water penetrate through everything. So it does typically involve removing makeup, but um, there are different schools of thought on that. Some women will splash water over their faces, um, over their hijab instead of taking the hijab off. So different ways of approaching it. Like that. Jeffrey, Jeffrey, bit what? Mixture of every, yeah, everyone else's cuisine. Hi, Elaine. Sorry, where's my napkin? Siggy. Whoops. <laughs> burger fries mukbang. I should make burger and fries someday. They have a lot of burger places here, but American food is really expensive here. Oh, I see. Church spaghetti with extra parm. Thanks, Elaine. Hi, Colleen. Lentil soup, yeah. Cornbread. Egyptian food, really? What's your favorite ghost face? I think the neighbors are fighting. Or someone outside is yelling. Hey, Jennifer Levine, welcome. Anyways. Um. I decided that I'm going to wait for the clothing haul for Eid because that's when people usually dress up and fancy and stuff like for Ramadan. I'm probably going to just wear a jilbab all the time or like a baya. Um, so like nothing different really, Natalie? at Why? all. <laughs> mm -hmm. So she acts like she has this huge wardrobe to pick from. I don't think I'm going to bother going all out during Ramadan for clothing, but maybe for Eid. <laughs> yeah, typically, typically what we would do is dress modestly and, you know, you don't, it's a time where you're not thinking about fashion. You are um, devoting that month to worshiping God, including fasting. So your outfits aren't really going to matter that much, um, right? The days following are called Eid. And you do wear something new, something nice, and most people do buy something new and nice to wear. So I feel like she still doesn't really grasp the concept of Ramadan fully. I'll buy some nice new bios or something. <clears throat> do I like crumpets? Yeah, I do. You should stream members only so no lifers can't snipe streams without getting in trouble. How do they get in trouble? They don't. Hawashi is so good, yeah. Hawashi is good. The bread with the meat inside? Wow, Natalie. Hi, Shelly. Um, Hawashi is like the Egyptian version of Arias. I do miss Torrid and Pennington's halls, yeah. You know? It's against TOS, really? Which TOS does it violate? I want to. I'm glad you asked, Chantal. People need to ask. When people start quoting um, YouTube terms of service policies, yeah, ask them to tell you where it says that because most people are talking out of their asses. <laughs> Catnip made me do it. Thank you for gifting an Are You Serious membership. Thank you. And it looks like Jen Shaw Hater received that one. Thank you very much. I know. <laughs> I am thinking of starting to do more members only streams, though. 
I was thinking of doing it anyway. But if you're talking about the person I think you are, that like, speaking of owl, like, not original owl, but the other one, stream sniping, it's like, they claim <laughs> to be Muslim. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, mm hmm. Yes, go on. I claim to be Muslim. Go on. My sister, I can tell you, if you want to be a haram police with me, it's very haram to be backbiting other Muslims. Walaikum salam, babe. Am I the haram police? Am I the haram police? Chantal, again, I would recommend stop listening to people who are telling you about reaction channels and go watch them yourself. Please. Please. I ask people not to say that about you and your behavior. Okay? Really? My, my, my. My, my, my. I know. I know. I know. You might want to find out for yourself, Chantal. That is one of our responsibilities as Muslims is to seek out your own knowledge. Don't listen to the gossiping of other people. If you watched yourself, you would know better than to say that. Victim mode activated. Catnip, you are listening. Thank you. Exactly. Hmm. No. Uh, any other Muslim woman, we call them sister. And if it's a if a male is talking to a, another male, a, a male would be your, would be brother, like Ahi. <laughs> they don't have Torrid here. They have a lot of clothing stores, but not a lot of like super plus size. So, mm. but they have some. They go up some some clothes go up to size twenty eight. Um. All right, I'll save the rest of the soup as well. <clears throat> That's my bio. And I, you know, um, no, he had dinner earlier. So, so my response to her came from the adult ego state. Interesting. If, if I was in my child ego state or a parenting, what kind of response would that look like? Nothing else. I wasn't hungry when he was hungry, so. Babe, look at this, this bowl it came in. He had his other wife make him something else for dinner. <laughs> look! It's like a whole pot. Ta-da! <gasps> Mash boobs. Did judge. Did judge is chicken. Mash boobs, did judge. Yes, did judge, yes. Boy, do you want some did judge, boy? The Jiffy Pop Match Moose. She heard me. Hi, Tattoo Chair. Thanks, Jenna. Ramadan will be next week. I know. Are you excited, hon? We got to get some more dates or something. We got to get a few more things. We have to put the lights up if we can. You think we'll be able to? Well, you have to do it, not me. I can't. <laughs> you think you'll be able to uh, put those lights up on this type of ceiling? I don't know if we want to make some holes on there, but. Okay, this bread is really fresh and yummy. I think I'm going to save it because I don't, I, don't, I don't really like eating bread with uh, Match Moose. I don't want the leg either, so I'm gonna say that. Okay, guys. So, hey, chef leftovers. Um, I'm <laughs> just not wearing any makeup. Yeah, that's why. <laughs> Leave it to me. I will handle it. Hi, Danielle. How are you? How are you? So this is a lesson in match boost. We have the saffron and white rice mix, basmati, and we have here these things: our little split peas, raisins, onions. It's so good. Oh, this chicken is yummy. So I've eaten at a lot of mash foods places, but never this one, so. Um, bismillah. <laughs> a little late, but. Okay, child ego state would argue back tit for tat kind of way. Parent ego state would probably want to hand out advice to her. Okay. But didn't I kind of give her some advice, like to watch for herself and not to listen to others? I'm, I'm seriously interested. I'm like, I'm curious what each thing looks like so I can, um, so I can identify it. It's fascinating. I'm so glad you brought this up for real. I said it quietly earlier. <laughs> That's enough rice for a family of 12. Well, yeah, it is a lot of rice. I'm not going to eat it all. Not now. It'll be good for a little while. <laughs> yeah, I'm fairly parent with her. Where they go? Oh. I, I agree. I Sometimes, yeah. Dacus? Hmm. Yeah, Dakus, says he. Yes, we have some Dakus here. <laughs> A, a bit from parent ego state. That's enough for three wives. Stop it. Mm, oh my huh. gosh, they smell like the. Interesting. 
Tasty. Mm. Is this pickled over here? <coughs> oh. Julia, she, took, she stole a bone. Here. Sorry, that was so vinegary. Oh my god. Julia. Julia. It's not the spice. You know what it is? It's vinegar. Hi, Neve. Because the eggplant is spongy, so it absorbed all that vinegar. Like, whoo. Whoo. Okay, we have mabuch. It smells spicy as well. <laughs> Breed chilies and garlic and stuff. Okay. I'm going to save some for you, hon, if you get hungry later, then I don't have to make you something. <laughs> Hi, Neve. Come here. She's going to save some for her husband. Okay. When, yeah, I think it... I think it'll be gone by the time he gets there. Just saying, just saying. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know, I know. Uh, you've been coaching her and she gives hate back, sadly. Yeah, she doesn't know how to handle it, I guess, you know? Just, you know, explaining to you guys how things are, why she's, you know, incorrect about some things, and then, yeah. Instead of, you know, what we usually do if we're corrected by another Muslim, and myself included, to say thank you, you know, th basically just thank them. And, you know, then you can go and search for yourself to see if what they're saying is actually legit or not or whatever. Um, but to call that backbiting is, uh, I don't agree with that. I don't. No. Oh, yes. Hey, Kaylee. Because it's not just about Chantal, it's about correcting incorrect things that she puts out there. So, Like your garbage memes. And if she is not behaving like a Muslim, should. And there will be things that I do call out. And um, that is not backbiting. I have to correct a lot of things she's putting out there. And I think if she did care more about the religion, perhaps, she would be a little more careful with her words and how what she teaches about Islam. It's, uh, it's, you know, Yanni, it's like, <laughs> Yanni, it's like, um, very spongy and all the vinegar was inside the sponge. My knuckles? I don't have knuckles. <laughs> I'm chubby. I have chubby hands, fat hands. <laughs> Not booze? Mmm. Hi, Gary. Sorry if I missed anyone else. Yum. <clears throat> I don't know where you can buy them here. Hi, Rosemary. I gotta try Mandy. I did try it once. It's pretty good, SB. Um, I tried Uzi rice too. Every day, Miriam Matchboos. <laughs> I want to change my name to Miriam Matchboos. I haven't been to Latifa in a little while. Shawarma or Shish Sauk? Shawarma. Oh, who's I gonna reply to? Um, oh, Nasratu. It's just, it's like yellow split peas. What do they call them in Arabic? I forget. Um, I love this food. That's so good. Yeah, this is too much rice. I won't. They always give you a lot of rice here. Mmm. <laughs> Who's your rice? Yeah. Do I like thumb wrestling? No, because I have a small thumb. I tried thumb wrestling with Solana. I lost. <laughs> Sorry for the up close and personal of me picking apart the chicken, but it's just so yummy and tender and yummy and tender and yummy. <laughs> All right. Look at this person, Danielle, in the chat says, um, I got a cut on my foot and it's not healing correctly. The doctor referred me to a wound care specialist. I'm praying it heals and doesn't get infected. If it does, I could lose my foot. Diabetes sucks. <laughs> she won't read that. Too close to home, I guess. Too close to home. A Alien Holly says, are you on insulin? Chantal, high blood sugar causes blood to turn syrupy consistency, very high risk of heart attack. Oh, she doesn't want to hear that. Nope. Yum. <laughs> Check your booty. I don't know why I have this on my head. And creamy? Really? Oh, thanks, Neve. I'm not on insulin, no. Yeah, I know, I am holy. I'm on medication, though. That seems to be, like, helping. It's called Janumet. It's a mix of metformin.
seems to be helping. Okay. Well, heart attacks, you know, they usually don't have a lot of warning signs coming on. They just kind of happen as your arteries close up. So you're not going to know if it's helping or not. Mm, yeah. Mm. and something else. Okay. There's raisins, babe, and then there's something else. It looks like yellow split peas. Oh, I'm, I will definitely pray for you, Danielle. I hope you'll be okay. Hi, Anastasia. Water, yeah. Um, rosemary. I don't know. I could cut down on rice. But it's hard. <laughs> it's hard. Especially since here, everything comes with rice mostly. It's hard, so yeah. don't do it. Yeah, it's hard to cut back, so don't even <laughs> try. Chicken, Everything comes with rice, so don't ask for a different side dish. Don't ask uh, them not to include rice. Just eat the rice that comes with it, because it's hard. It's hard. Okay. Big spoon. Tablespoon. Makes sense, right? Oh my gosh. Hold on. Babe? What did you eat? I told you she would go in the takeout bag. What did you eat in the takeout bag? What did you eat? What are you doing? Trying to get away from you. You're caught in 4K. <laughs> oh, that's okay, Tracy. Thanks for saying hey. I hope you have a good shift. What are you doing? That voice? When is that past you? What are you doing? What are you doing? Her <laughs> little bees in face. Mmm. Very delicious place. But for some reason, babe, nothing has been better than free swallow. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, it's babe. Babe, babe. This is <clears throat> live. Last night. Right I now. San Pedro. Remember I sang that? go to live. Yep, she's live right at this moment. There are 487 <laughs> people watching her. And Hi, babe. let's see who's chatting. Two, four, six, eight, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. <sighs> Maybe twenty-five to thirty people chatting out of four hundred and seventy-five watching. <laughs> Why does she have to talk to her husband over YouTube chat? It's a good question. Mm -hmm. M says, uh, exactly, are you serious? You're I thought it was a vacuum. Very humble, despite having a great deal of knowledge. Meanwhile, Chantal comes off as a smug, arrogant victim concerned with her ego first at all times. I mean, yeah, I mean, I know that there's so much that I don't know. There is so much that I don't know. I try to learn something new all the time, constantly, you know. Yeah, so it's hard to, you can't have pride about something that you feel you, you just don't know enough about. I'll never know it all, especially about Islam. There's so much to know. I saw your comment every day, Trawanda. Pickled palate cleanser. Hi, green grapes, palate cleanser. Yeah, I'm definitely going to do vlogs for Ramadan. Those are the most sour pickles I ever ate in my life. They made me choke. Daily iftar. Okay, I'll try. Unless we go up somewhere or someone's house or... I can try to show. Just ate, got up a day. Hi, Fizzy Jim. I'm telling you. You will never go back to toilet paper. It's, it's like, no. I don't know how people still use toilet paper. Boom. TP is. Mm. Christy, wow. I don't know how the dental care is here, but I'm sure it's you have to pay. But it's not that bad. I'm sure you have um, to pay. For root collect now, though, I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, usually do. Hi, Cozy Chronicles. Oh, yeah, wet wipes too are good. 
Can I just eat? Mrs. Jones, I have a confession to make. I do text with, text with my husband from time to time when we're both home. Well, if he's on the other side of the house, you know, and you don't want to yell. I mean, it's understandable. Yeah. I don't know how it is that here, but it's not that bad. How does she know, though? I don't know how it is here, but not that bad. I don't know. Uh, I, I think I must have missed it. The paper, but... Like for dental? Let me tell you. Yeah, she doesn't know. That's right. Hello, Life and Vibe. Riveting content once again. The dental care. Yeah. Yeah. She knows it costs something, but she doesn't know. When I was in Canada, oh, uh, I suffered. And the minute I got to the Doha airport and I saw the bidets again, I was like, oh, yes. <laughs> All right, I'm full. still have another meal left. Look at all the rice left. <laughs> Chicken leg. If you ever get hungry, babe, there's a whole meal for you. And it comes in its own little container like that. And you go like that. Match boost chicken. And there's lentil soup and kibbeh also, honey. So if your other wife doesn't cook for you, I got you covered. <laughs> I'm sure she does cook, Chantal. Let's be real. He's not going to marry two wives that don't cook. Mm. Stuff a bed bell pepper. That sounds like a good idea. Really, Joanne? Nice. Okay, I'll be right back, guys, okay? Because uh, I need to do something. I need to do something. She needs to use the bathroom, I'm guessing. I think so. Yeah. Why would anyone want that rice now after she's had it, Shelby? Uh, yeah, I wouldn't think anyone, probably not even Julia, would want it. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. It's kind of like how she used to live stream in the past, like just kind of leave us on hold while she's going to do something in another room. <laughs> but back then she had like funny trolls that would be in the chat chatting with each other and, you know, entertaining everybody still, but she doesn't have those anymore. They're all lame. Slavering into the soup. Oh, yeah. That's a good question, Sea Life. I wonder why she doesn't open those curtains to see the view. I, When people said that she had moved down a level, I really didn't believe it. I was like, why would she? That doesn't even... Why, right? And, like, everyone lined up things that, like, okay, this is the same unit. But I have recently been starting to wonder about that because we never used to hear traffic, ever. And now you hear motorcycles going by. Like, there's so much more noise now that we never used to hear. So I wonder. Uh, Nadia, there are 435 people watching Chantal right now. I feel like making a cooking video, says that Ghostface Gamer, and add with the song Helwa Yabelity. Sure, why don't you do that? Yeah, so I guess she had like 20, 30 people watching her on Twitch playing Plasmophobia. And she chose a game, right, that um, the more she talks, the worse she does on the game. Because apparently they listen for you to talk and then the ghosts know where you are and they come for you. So, it, <laughs> so it's a live stream and she, it's not good for her to talk. Okay. Good choice of a game. Just be in silence. It's definitely Salah in the chat this time. I can tell by his syntax. Not the same person as previous days. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what is the temperature right now? Let me take a look. 
and anyone can check it at any time with Nightbot. It's exclamation Kuwait, and it will show the weather. Let's see, 65 degrees Fahrenheit. For her, that's not cool. She likes it much cooler than that. Current humidity is 72%. Wind is blowing from the southeast at 9 miles per hour or 14 kilometers per hour. And no space is in between, though, Patricia. And uh, Celsius is 18 degrees. 18 degrees Celsius. And you can find out the Kuwait time by exclamation Kuwait time altogether. No spaces. They're eight hours ahead. So it's just past 11 p.m. there right now. Yep, 11.05 p.m. Yep. Did you see the post about how this could be an Airbnb? It's not. I don't believe it is. I don't. I've already looked into the building like nine months ago. And she kind of, she confirmed not too long ago what type of building it was. And I was watching one of my old videos earlier and, it, and I, I said exactly the same thing that she said it was just a little while ago. I don't think it's an Airbnb. Yeah, I think that, you know, they're going to be a lot of the same um, construction companies that build these like high rises that go up fast. So they're going to have very similar elements, I think, but. How can Chantal have 100K subscribers but only have 450 people at her live? Good question. That's an excellent question. <laughs> Here she's back. Where did you go, Miriam? Brenda asks. Yeah, Ems, we talked about it in depth the other day. It was either the last stream or the one before that. Like, we talked in depth about it, the marriage thing. Yep. Yeah, she went to grab dessert, probably. <laughs> Are you guys saying I'm using my bidet? Hi, Pam! Hey! The maximum are four. Four wives. Who the heck can handle four wives, though? Seriously. <laughs> so you heard me in the toilet you weren't muted yes I was thanks Pam it's only someone with deep H <laughs> Meep. <laughs> welcome back thank you Carrie Do I cook for no? I know. <laughs> cool wind in my abaya. <laughs> oh. Warm smell of Udbakur. <laughs> I don't even know what deep age is. <laughs> My wife is enough for one, any, yeah, exactly. Women are a handful. Hello, intro. Fufu egger. <laughs> Fufu eggs. Oh my gosh, Fufu egg. Did you Fufu? Hi, Anna G. Hey, tattoo check. <sighs> what time is it here? 11. More than a handful, yeah. Well, I'm a lot to deal with. Mm. 
Look at her leg when she licks herself. It's like a ch chicken leg. Boy. Hi, boy. Hi. Poor cat. <clears throat> Hello, Lady Ravenhill. Thank you. Hope you're well, too. I am. Last time I was in Cuba. Well, now I'm in Kuwait. Andrew Tate could handle four wives. Yeah. <laughs> Inshallah, here to stay. Isn't he no longer she Muslim have a cat or something? Tree, no. I should get her one. You playing game today, Miriam? I'm considering it. I'm considering it. Probably. Yeah, probably. I don't know. I don't feel like camming up though because then I have to set up the camera. That's why I'm lazy. And I don't even want to wait for Salah to do it. Maybe I can. I don't want to be in the green screen. Well, I don't know. What do you guys think? What do you think, babe? She loves the bags, yeah. I don't want to play Fallout. <laughs> you missed yesterday's gaming? Yeah. That's okay, Amanda. Play Fortnite? I suck at shooting games. Really? I didn't know. Gamer. Ghostface Gamer. Do you like Five Nights at Freddy's? Sims? I'm not, I don't know if I want to play Fortnite. We'll see. Isn't it like free on Steam? Mario? Play Mario? Can you get Mario on, straight, on Steam? I, I only have a PC for gaming. I suck at shooting too, but now I've gotten good. No way, Danielle. I guess I just have to practice. <clears throat> Lethal Company. Never heard of it. <laughs> foo foo egg. Oh, I feel tired and like drained of all energy. I have to force myself. Super Mario Brothers. <laughs> Use an emulator. What's that? What's that, Estrella? 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 One to four. Amnesia. Yeah, I want to play Amnesia too. Hollow Knight? Never heard of that either. There's so many horror games. Super Mario Brothers. 98. So yeah, I don't know. I'm kind of probably not going to wear makeup anymore. Are you guys okay with my plain Jane? <laughs> Hi, Alien Holly. Sorry, I didn't see your comment. What did you say when I was gone to the washroom? I gotta put this match boost away. Barbara Smith, are you saying that only people who go out and work and uh, actually I do work? It's mentally draining what I do. Hi, Sigmund. And just because I don't have kids doesn't mean I don't have other problems. I have a lot of health problems and I have a lot of mental health problems that make me fatigued to say the least. I came across a Twitter video of Sarah Jane talking and I fell asleep standing up. <laughs> Hi, Lynn! People with sleep disorders are tired, duh. Yeah. It's like only people who like go out and work and have kids can be tired. That's so weird. But okay. What am I dealing with mentally? Well, I just have like clinical depression. So it makes you feel like you don't even want to get out of bed. Like you don't have the energy to even get out of bed, you know? <clears throat> have an Arabic friend sister from Egypt who didn't like my last few profiles as go face. So I changed it into this pic. Oh, <laughs> now you're no face. Only one laptop, yeah. Biometrics yeah, you know, health problems, mental health problems. She's exhausted. Yeah, you know, maybe take care of your health and uh, go to therapy. Get on some, some good meds, you know. 
Yeah, nobody else has that. She's she's a special one. She's a special victim. Yep. What do you mean? Mm-hmm. People without kids get tired too. Yeah, for sure. You know. And you don't know what I do all day. You don't know like what I deal with, so. Goodbye, alien loser. Do you miss Canadian wildlife and wilderness? Um, sometimes the greenery, yeah. But then when I'm there, I miss like the environment here. It's weird. I do take antidepressants, yeah. I have seen many therapists before. Um. Hi, teardrop. <clears throat> How are you this evening? How are you? <laughs> King Beezer. The emojis. I gotta make more. I always say that and I never do. I, I just never feel like doing anything that I have to do. I only feel like I can like barely survive doing the bare minimum. Like, you know, it's so draining like just maintaining the home <laughs> and then having to do like content and keeping up with you know, family and just, I don't know, doing stuff. That's why I order a lot too. It's just draining lately. I go through phases. I go through phases where I feel like being more productive and then when I just feel like I can't do anything. Yeah, I have depression. Put in. I don't know if it's my medication, but it makes me feel kind of like a zombie. <sighs> Why would I try to touch the screen? Hide user, goodbye. Thank you, Heather. <laughs> Who did she just block? <laughs> uh bringing up stories from almost a year ago showing how truly busy she is that's right santiago she is out and out busy that's right nothing else to talk about mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. true 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 um ali af my ads are out of control on this live interesting i i set it to the exact same settings that i always do the balanced four in the short time you've been here four in about how long ellie because i'll go through after and place them farther apart. Interesting. Um. Can you play Sims make your little family on it? Yema. Can you make you can't make animals, right? It is normal when you have depression, yeah. People don't understand like how I feel. Nobody I understands me. Nobody understands. Nobody understands. I'm There's special. Seven and, don't work and, have and nobody have understands. Yeah, exactly, <clears throat> Poor Chantal. A pet add -on. My Poor Julia. Chantal. You got four ads in 30 minutes? Mm. That's Exercise crazy. Helps, yeah. Like every know. seven minutes, you got an ad? No, he has wow. three apartments. One for each wife. I hate to see what happened if I changed it to um, aggressive. <laughs> no, Marilyn, not at the moment. Really, Gensha hater? I think I hear birds. That's crazy. Listen, you get ads you once in a while, yeah, can't I'm tired. After I eat, I get tired. That would Especially be... after a big meal, you know? That would be your diabetes, Chantal. Yeah. <laughs> tired after a big meal? 8.5 apartments. <laughs> oh. Maybe so I can play Sims and design the three apartments so we can see them. <laughs> yeah, maybe Thank we you. can make the three apartments. Thank you, yes. Ali <laughs> Yeah, I definitely want to know about that. Oh... Uh. Because we get we get three options when we schedule a live. You can have um, aggressive ads, conservative, and balanced. So um, I have balanced. I always choose balanced. 
because it's not supposed to interfere with your viewing experience that much, but it also still allows me to earn a little bit from each live stream. So if they are out of control, we, you know, I do like to know about that, definitely. That's crazy, too much. No, I'm not his only wife. Carp coma. <laughs> I probably. Yeah, it's oh, the beatus. So Stop right. eating hubcaps of rice. You might feel better. Maybe Shelly. <clears throat> <laughs> that Chantal has aggressive ads. I'm sure she does. <laughs> Three wives. Parsley or garlic? No. I mean, I cook with garlic a lot. I love blackout curtains, teardrop, I know. <laughs> Did you just wake up before your meal? No, but I slept pretty late. I had depression, it's horrible, yeah. Barbara, you see like 25 minutes or an hour of my day. That's all you see. You don't see a lot of things I deal with every day. Yeah, but we hear the stories from a year ago about hiccuping. No, we don't all live together. <laughs> That's how much she has going on. <sighs> the CPAP marks stay there for like hours for a long time. That's because you're swollen and bloated. But anyways, Alyssa, if I did, what's the big deal? Do stuff that makes you happy. It's That's hard to even deal. do anything sometimes. <laughs> At least another 25% is spent in seal position scrolling TikTok. <laughs> oh, thanks, Lynn. It's okay, Lisa. Excuse I understand. Me. I don't I understand. have an opinion about her. I get a little snarky a couple times a month myself. <laughs> I know, it's your girl. As I'm sure I'm you know. <laughs> I'll see if I feel like doing a, a gaming stream. I'm not sure. Of course, Sandwich. <laughs> Babe. 7-12, is that better than 7-11? Do you want 7-12? But, um... It's probably... My ex used to make dumb jokes like that. I wonder if it's like an Arab sense of humor, maybe. Yeah, marks on your face. Thank you, Shelly. It's not that I'm depressed <sighs> right now. I'm just like, mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm just tired. Like, just go blah. to bed. All right, go to bed. I find like my Night. my medication, my antidepressants make me feel that way. They make me feel like, mm -hmm. I don't know. It's like 11.30 at night there. Hi, Mia. And she just ate a big I took meal. Them not that long ago, so maybe they're kicking in. I don't know. Hmm. Yeah. What are you taking now, Chantal? I'd love to know. You're still taking Ciprolex. Always have to be negative ones coming in, yeah. <laughs> I know. Always. She used to take Lexapro. I don't know if she still does. Yeah, I definitely ask for no, feedback. I, up. I definitely ask for feedback about the ads because I don't want you guys to be like inundated with ads. Expect a few, definitely, because it is monetized and I do select balanced ads. But if it does get out of control, I do want to know because, you know, I don't want you guys to be totally turned off to watching a live stream because there's so many ads that's not acceptable. So, yeah, I do appreciate the feedback. I have premium myself, but when I'm not signed into my premium account, <sighs> I'm like, how do people do it? <laughs> it's 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 annoying, AF. Yeah. I love to have like a calm mood. <laughs> do you ever watch Nick? No, I don't. The food is definitely making yeah, you know, like it's not like a, a sluggish. <laughs> a screen name, Big Breast Physical Brenda. <laughs> Good morning, now. Chantal. Oh. Babe, you want 7 <laughs> like, yeah. You want 7 babe. Big Breast Brenda I came into the chat. Cheese. Remember, oh, that's had too much sugar. <laughs> I probably got diabetes just from the tea, the Thai teas in the 7 Eleven. There's so <laughs> Thai tea is I delicious. Swear. Hi! Is this your new spot? Is this your new spot? Non premium streets are rough, spot? they really are. Yeah. <laughs> I knew it. I knew she would love that. 
I can has handles. I can carry her around. <sighs> A break from match booze. <laughs> hi, Chantal. It's pouring rain, so company. <laughs> Breasty nasty. Just relaxing, so I thought I'd jump in and say hi. Oh, pouring rain sounds cozy. Get your sports bra. <laughs> hi, Golden Girl. Missed ya. So I Hope will tell you. Your company. So I will tell you to calm your tits. But, um, thank you, Ghostface. <laughs> Keep them calm. A yoga ball. <laughs> Those were fun, but they made me kind of feel sick a little bit after a while, I guess. Yeah. Um, I don't miss a lot of things that, you know, I used to do, but... Free Palestine, yes. Applebee's, your name is inspiring her to order Applebee's. <laughs> Yeah. I'm just kind of like, I don't know, Robin, I'm just like, right now I don't care, you know? I go through phases of, like, apathy of not caring about, like, like, I, I just don't want to even think about, like, food, you know? Or, I don't know. Like, I mean, like, food as in, like, eating healthy. Thanks, Lynn. You don't change in an instant sec second. It takes time. A strong tree doesn't grow in a day. It takes years of nourishment and light from sun to become strong, and God knows this girl. Yeah, exactly, me. Exactly. It's very tough, but I think the mental, you have to work it out mentally first, and I struggle every day. Mentally, it's exhausting, like, thinking of, like, what I should do, how I should do it. I don't know, stuff like that, you know? Um, fighting with yourself. So. You know, you could just get all of this out with a therapist. <laughs> just eat. Resolve some things. Toilet paper. Oh. You know? It's so easy to make. I had the same problem when I had gift cards from it. The so. chat is the therapist, yeah. I pineapple dump cake for dessert. Yum! I love that. How burdensome. I love pineapple cake. Yeah, guys, if you want to awesome, tap out, awesome, awesome now. you don't have to Thank announce it. Just feel girl. free to, <laughs> to step out. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. You're the best at proving your weight because the one you had had a 350-pound weight limit. My old scale? I think it was 400 pounds now. Mm. The one I have now is 180 kgs. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen the Barbie movie. Actually, have you guys transformed from a seal and have you guys seen the Barbie movie? It's good. It really is. Hey Sniper Love, not commenting much as I'm listening and painting my place at the same time, but loving the stream. Awesome. Fantastic. Ashley Eaton, this is happening in the moment right now. She could do a telehealth with a Canadian therapist. Yeah, Lucy Jane. Uh, she could. I loved it too. I did. Yep. Into a cat. <laughs> Yeah, it is exhausting. We do have five guys. Yep. I can't, I can wear wigs, but like under hijab. My goal is just to become a better Muslim and growing closer and closer to God and becoming healthy to a point where I can help other people in life and like travel. That's what I see. That's what I want for my future. I want a peaceful future of not just thinking about the pleasures in this life. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I want to escape mm -hmm. being a slave to the pleasures of this life, of this earth. <laughs> okay. Of the afterlife. And well, what are you going to do to get there? It's not enough to just say, this is what I want for myself. This is This is my wish list for my life. It's not going to happen just by wishing. You really have to seek some help, make some goals, get a plan, and put the plan into action. And I think that's far too overwhelming for her. All she can think of is, what do I actually want to do? And it's not what she's doing now. And that's, I think, where it all ends. That's where it all ends. Yeah, she wants to be looked up to as a mentor. Can you believe that? Can you even imagine looking up to Chantal as someone to... Uh, <laughs> 
there's someone to look up to? <laughs> you know? She wants to, but it's like she's got to make some change in her actual life for anyone to even consider her for any kind of, you know, coaching. My God, please, you know? The real meaning of what it is to be here. You know, like it's a lot to ponder. World, on. like Islam has taught me, like it's opened my eyes to how many earthly temptations and ple pleasures we have that are not good for us, and they keep us like, like it's weird to me that like if I think of like people I know in my life, they don't even like acknowledge the existence of God at all, like mm -hmm. on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. A lot of people, you don't. know, it's weird to me. I don't know. It's not weird to you, Chantal. You're just um, noticing it now. So I want to like start really just being more conscious of things that really matter and that are going to matter. You know, like material things don't matter. But like the one thing I struggle with definitely is like shisha and overindulging in food, which is not good. Yeah. So, but <laughs> those things. Look at Teardrop, the ultimate coach. Stupid questions from stupid people. <laughs> Well, Teardrop, she's actually answering the, one of those stupid questions fairly thoughtfully. Why don't you encourage that? I mean. Oh, God. Are very that wasn't tempting. me, by the They're way. very hard to, you know, I don't know. Ghostface Gamer, I hate these ridiculous questions. Brooke, why can't my husband be in my own chat? Like, Jeez. if you have a problem with it, why don't you just get lost? <laughs> like trying to become a better person and not so reactive and bitchy okay try harder keep trying <laughs> he's allowed to be in my chat like what the heck kind of weird question is that <laughs> cook and chill make recipes what oh look at fizzy jim fizzy jim I don't know, Teardrop. I think Miriam is giving a well-thought-out answer. Yes. Agreed. Oh, hey, Brooklyn to Brixton. Brooklyn to Brixton. Makes me think of Amy Winehouse. Chantel seemed really bothered by you, so I had to subscribe. Hey, welcome. Come on in. <laughs> Her chat is blurry. You would have to adjust the settings on your screen, on your device. So I'm streaming, I believe, in 1080 right now. If you go up to 1080, you're going to see it a lot clearer. I'll enlarge it a little more. We see less of her, but I don't think anyone really is that concerned about that, you know? Yeah, let me just enlarge it. It might help a little. Here we go. Oh, yeah, I got my sports bra on. We had big-breasted Brenda in the chat. So, psh. Oh, uh, Mia. See if that helps, yeah, Patricia. Yeah, sorry to hear that. You're right, yeah. It's, uh, Mia, it's true. Like, I wish you well. I'm sorry to hear that, but, like, a lot of people... Fuzzy Jim, what you talking about? <laughs> what you talking about, Fuzzy Jim? So aggressive, Teardrop. God, relax. Relax. But we don't think about <laughs> faith or things like that. Um, That's better? Okay. it's too late, you know? And I think, like, what I mean by things that are going to matter are things like, you know, like, after this life. Like, right. I don't know. Do people actually think that this is it? There's, like, no point to life. It's Some people do think that. That's okay, and Chantal. Consume and enjoy the, you know. They like, can think what they know. want. I think we can enjoy the pleasures of life, but not to the point where it causes us to become addicted and immoral, which is, you know, a lot of things are tempted like tempting like that in life it's hard to avoid you know what do you mean your last comment was deleted <laughs> boys up now. Come on. <laughs> i uh it's definitely not me or anybody deleting comments if you find that you're typing something and it doesn't show up on the screen i've had that happening to me in other chats and I don't know what it is. I guess YouTube is like in, like editing more or deleting more is something that they deem as offensive. Like I can I can moderate my own chat, Google. So yeah, let me know if something gets if doesn't something doesn't show up because I don't have any filters except for the bad words and some others. But is she seriously preaching this after gorging? Yes, Aja. What better time? 
Of course. Teardrop seems to be having some sort of health crisis, but Chantal never cares. Teardrop is always in a health crisis. And you're right. Chantal never cares. Never. It's all about her. <laughs> so, yeah. You don't need religion to be moral and just, but it's definitely a good guide. Um, you know, a lot of morality that people follow is based on teachings of religion. And not just that, but like, I don't know, I think that you should, that like the, the, the one who created this life for us should be worshipped and, you know, shown gratitude to. I don't know, that's my opinion, but not everyone is religious, but... Hmm. Nice wellness homesteader. All roads lead to us dying, as sad as, that, as sad as that sounds, and people should be getting closer to the Lord. We all have a life review at the end. Yeah, exactly, Lynn, yeah. It's like the inevitable path is, yeah, death, <laughs> you know? And so I'm trying to think of things that matter, like how I live my life, like add more meaning to it. Like it never had, like, meaning, you know? So... When I reverted, I stopped so many things and my life becomes so much clearer. Yeah. Don't you feel more isolated too? Because like, I feel like when you try to go on like a more righteous path and avoid a lot of things that you shouldn't be doing, you find like you feel more like you're closer to God, but more further away from like people. It's weird too. I don't know how to explain it. Thank you for humiliating me in front of people with it's all of your sex, more. weird sex shit. Thank you. What did he say? Imagine if I'm not in the chat, they say, why is he not in the chat? And if I'm in the chat, they say, why is he in the chat? My brain is not raining. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of people who don't approve of me being in a relationship with you, but that's just tough. That's my, that's my decision. It's my life. It's, you know, like as if I'm going to do, live my life, what people, how people want me to live it. Imagine if we all did that. No, <laughs> they don't know our relationship, you know, so. I grew up in a very religious house. I drifted away in my 20s, almost 40 now and seeing. Yeah, I, I wasn't, I never used to be religious. Like, I believe in higher power, be good. And, yeah. I'm 39, I'm f***ing diabetic, and I'm not into f***ing weird fetishes anymore. I gave my cats away for you. Hi, Susmir. Hello. <laughs> what I like about Islam, too, is that they acknowledge the progression of creation you know like they don't ignore the evo like evolution on a whole like they don't exactly like it's not the same as like maybe what um like exactly like how science says it but and they also respect other religions you know it's not as if they say like okay if you're a christian you're gonna go to hell no you know like <laughs> it's not like that they respect other like religions right in the quran like um judaism christianity but anyway it's a learning process Mm. take care of your own backyard and stay out of others yard yeah exactly I need more water exactly I'm surprised you chose Islam and did not become a pastafarian <laughs> the spaghetti monster <laughs> I can't believe that hey Hughes <laughs> I don't know exactly who you are but welcome nice to see you <laughs> it's an actual like religion <laughs> You found me. Honestly, I never thought I would be Muslim, <laughs> ever, if you asked me even two years ago. You know? Sue's near! Warny, warny. <laughs> oh, yeah. And the fish. What? Boulevard. You fertilized your neighbor's lawn? <laughs> what the heck? Satanism is not included, Jimmy Jim. Yeah, sure. Yeah, respect everyone, you know? As a pastafarian, you can wear a colander and your driver's license as religious headwear. Stop it! <laughs> That's crazy. <sighs> warning, warning, all night long. Where are you not for hot tooth? <laughs> I love God. I'm wearing my hijab. Makes me honor God. There you go, goat's veins. <laughs> What's a pastafarian? Thank you, Lois. Ahlan wa sahlan means hello and welcome.
That's a very common greeting. Ahlan basalan. I think now I know, Hughes. Now I know. You have an, a first initial as part of your name. I think I remember. You too, over here? Okay. All right. Welcome. <laughs> Anyways. Poop hot. Please unblock. I don't know. You have to send me the link to your channel. You never do. If you want to be unblocked, you have to send me a link to your channel. Because I can't find it. That's the one, yes, Hughes. I remember. Do you have a problem with this? The flying spaghetti monster is the deity of the church of the flying spaghetti monster or pastafarianism. <laughs> That's a good question, Lisa. I'm surprised no one has asked how Salah is feeling since his surgery. Yeah. How are you recovering, Salah? You feeling okay? Uh, yeah, that's a very good question. Since everyone cares so much about Salah. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, guys. I might play a game, but I don't know if I'll do a cam. I might go lay in bed like a seal. And ghost hunt. I don't feel like playing. Babe, if I played Fallout, I have to be like in the mood for adventure. He's been in chat the whole time. <laughs> okay, Wupot. You're his ghost. Hey. <laughs> I don't even know how to say the name Daddy Fence. <laughs> Can I call you DFS? DFS. I had match boosts. Oh, last piece. We gotta clear up some space on the laptop to download a new game. Merhaba, Dennis. Halan Wasalin. Yeah, maybe, babe. I've slept way too much today. You know what it is? It makes you tired. If you sleep too much, it makes you tired as well. Oh my god. Look at Mia Spadato. I wake up just to watch you. You make my day. You make my day. You all make me smile. Oh, Mia. Oh. <laughs> Amnesia. Yeah, Applebee's. Babe, when you tell me, just give me a 30 minutes to wake up properly. I say, yeah, right. Then you get up after two hours. Okay. Yeah, she sleeps a lot. Salah, is this, yeah, is that new? No, it's not. The diabetes is diabetes. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll look into taking some Arabic lessons or um, proper Quran lessons or something. If you're on Twitch, I miss seeing your gaming. Oh, uh, yeah, true teardrop. Hey, I never see in there. That's okay. I'll still be doing lots of lives on here, too. Narcolepsy? I love to sleep, actually. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I hate feeling overslept too. Salah, babe, you only need like six hours of sleep and then he's like awake. Me, I need at least. Yep, her birthday is March 28th. Yes, it is. Yep, 1980. Yeah, 84. She's going to be 30. Um, 30. She's going to be 40 in, uh, yeah, 25 days. I got to try to figure out a countdown app. <laughs> countdown to Chantal's 40th birthday. Eight or nine. <laughs> I told him that. I'm like, babe. I need at least eight hours, okay? <laughs> babe, you're so cute. The minute you think I'm awake, like if I fidget even a little bit, you jump on me and like, hi, babe, good morning, Sabahari. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not awake yet. <laughs> I, I still need two more hours. <laughs> and she looks 90. <laughs> she definitely looks like 50-ish. Welcome to Twitch world. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, Jimmy. I wake up just to watch you. You make my day. You make. Oh, thanks, Mia. That means a lot. <sighs> yeah, I barely ever go on Instagram. Once in a while, to check messages, but you're awake because you responded. <laughs> the emojis. Babe, you should, come, you should show them how handsome you look with your new haircut. Diabetes friendly recipes? Why is she asking him to come on stream? He's not, he's, he said he's not going to. Like ever again, never, ever, ever. Okay. Like what? Chicken and vegetables. <laughs> Babe, are you funny? Yes. Babe, when you tell me, just give me 30 minutes to wake up properly. I say, yeah, right. Then you get up after two more hours. <laughs> I know. Because if you like, even, 
<laughs> You're waiting for me to wake up, I can tell when you wake up. And then the minute I like move a little bit, you're like, you're like, good morning, babe. <laughs> and then I'll go, oh, three more minutes. <laughs> it takes me two hours to become alive. <sighs> okay, guys, I'm going to get off of here now. So anyways, sleeping, <laughs> running to jump on sleepy Miriam. Um, thanks for being here. And uh... <laughs> I love you. No plans for birthday yet, but I'll let you guys know. Um, I might go live. I'll let you know on community post if I go live on Twitch, okay? <laughs> See you guys later. Bye. Masalama. Puppy energy, LR. <laughs> Bye, guys. Yep, we'll be checking to see when she goes live on Twitch. I don't expect it to be very interesting. Hey, Rose Thorn Reacts. How are you? Nice to see you. I, I think I set up... I hope... I'm not sure if I did. I meant to set up a... Um, a Nightbot thing for you, for your channel. Let me see if I did. I would have done it under robes. I try to do it under the first name. I did a bunch of Nightbot stuff yesterday, and I don't remember if I did your channel or not. So we'll see if it pops up. Okay, well, let me add it. Let me, how are you doing? It's nice to see you. I've been missing your live streams lately, unfortunately. I gotta make sure my notifications are on. Rose Thorne. So everyone, Rose Thorne Reacts is another um, reactor. She's been around for a while, much longer than me, for sure. And um, she does she does timely reactions to Chantal. Usually, like, right after Chantal posts something, shortly after, you'll see Rose Thorne reacting. So she is, let me just write your name here, Rose Thorne Reacts. Do you need a night pot? I don't know, do you? Can't see. <laughs> Those Rose Thorn reacts. There she is. That's her link to her channel. Is Chantal deliberately making her life so boring that people stop watching? I think so. Something's going on. I mean, it's just like, I think she doesn't feel well enough. That's what I think may be going on, too. I don't think she feels well enough to be entertaining in any sort of way. She's boring. Very, very boring. Yep. Could be. I don't know if it's entirely intentional, but it is having that effect. Boring. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. Yep. All those carbs she had. Yeah, she wonders why she's crashing. I mean, <laughs> you just ate a ton of rice again. Once again. Yeah. Yep. You've been with Rose forever, Angel of Glass? Yeah. Yep. She does know the history. Definitely. Just checking in to say hi, eggplant. Oh, hi, eggplant. Defined? Hello. I find fork-related content very triggering. <laughs> very triggering. So I can't stick around today? That is sad. Eggplant defined? By eggplant, I mean dick. I'm sorry to hear that. Well, hopefully we'll see you at the next one. I know. I know. It's a lot. It is a lot. I know. I know. In a carb coma. If your blood sugar was 400, you'd crash too. Exactly. Yep. You've been having a lot of issues getting notifications lately, Fatty to Fed. I even tried resubbing and stuff. It's like a glitch others have mentioned too. It is definitely an issue. I got notifications pretty much all day yesterday for Chantal for videos she had published earlier in the week, like mukbangs. And I'd be like, huh, I wonder if she re-uploaded it or something. I'd go and click on it and it uploaded five days ago. And I'm just getting a notification. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're okay? Okay. All right. Something needs to happen. I think it would be interesting if she had her own insulin, Katsy. Yeah. I mean, she's got to be close to that, right? She has to be. I mean, look how bad she feels after, you know, a little while after eating. That's that's certainly a sign. You get mine, sea life? Okay, that's good. That's good. You didn't get notification on time yesterday, but they seem to be okay today. Good, good, good. 
Are you guys getting little questions too, like in comments? Like, how would you rate this comment? <laughs> it's like they're trying to get their AI to recognize certain things. And, you know, I don't know. Just keep people involved and keep the AI at a minimum, I think. Chantal, I want you to fork me. Salah, Salah, hands her a fork and take out. It says, fork yourself, Chantal. <laughs> keep it on the down low so you don't go to jail, too. Yeah. <laughs> fork yourself. You can do it yourself, Chantal. Fork yourself. You keep saying your mom's a cardio uh, mom's cardiologist stroke diabetes. Type three is cardiac arrest. Mom's blood was 440 when she had the heart attack. Oh, John, how is she doing now, by the way? Wow, diabetes type three is cardiac arrest. Sounds about right. Yeah, it does. She probably refused insulin because Dr. Berg and Dr. Funk say insulin causes weight gain. Yeah, probably. I'm sure. Mm -hmm. Dr. Chantal. So many great forking jokes to come. Yes. You got a notification an hour after I went live, Kimber. Ugh, that's annoying. Forkophobic. <laughs> oh, you know who I did um, definitely set one up for is Poison Petty Four. I did. Poison Petty Four has been doing a Girl World wrap up at the end of each week. Um, let's see if it comes up. Yeah. So she's uh, she's on the West Coast and it's late night. So if you're up late night on the West Coast, it's definitely a good time over there. I tend to I try to catch the um, the re the restream, the replay, <laughs> the restream, the replay, the re what, 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 what? Yeah, occasionally. So it's not like an every week thing when you can, when you can. Yeah. The ones that I have watched have been uh, pretty entertaining. It's a lot of work. I know it's a lot of work. But yeah, it's pretty nice to get like a whole week recap all in one stream with a nice, a nice, funny, sarcastic lady. On the satisfaction question, <laughs> I never want to click on any, click anything for Chantal content. I don't want YouTube to judge me. Oh yeah, you'll start getting the ads that I get. Do you have non-fatty, non-alcoholic fatty liver disease? No, YouTube, I don't actually. Come on now. Your mom is kick, kicking names and taking ass. <laughs> Love it. She lost 25 pounds, went to Jamaica, walks the pool 90 minutes a day, and will be headed to Aruba in late spring. Fantastic. It was the wake-up call she needed. That's awesome. Wow, 25 pounds. Pool exercise, it's, it definitely helps. That's awesome. Woohoo! Satisfaction. <laughs> oh, yeah. Foodie needs insulin, Jack in the Box. She's on meds and they aren't getting her sugars down low enough, right? Yeah, she thinks 10 is like sufficient. She's always showing that, oh, it's 10. It's fine. If she's going to keep eating whatever she wants instead of cutting back carbs, she needs insulin keep in range. Yeah, I would, I would think. You're hella proud of her? Of course you are. That's awesome. The Jardians dance commercials. Yeah, Katsy, I saw a couple of those. I didn't like them either. They felt like they were insulting. I don't know why, but that's what I felt. Patricia Ingalls, thank you for gifting five Are You Serious memberships. Thank you. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Thank you, Patricia. It looks like M's got one, Cozzy J, Catnip Over Fear, Steffi Jenkins received gifted memberships. Thank you very, very much, Patricia. That is so nice. The thing about pools, after three to four hundred pounds, a pool often needs a special, very expensive swinging hoist. What? Huh? A hoist? It's more than the insomnia. My mom now floats around 80 to 110, but she's had a whole diet overhaul. 
The closest to sweet she gets now is bubbly. Oh, okay. Oh, wow, sea life. Isn't that interesting? Some people get ads, some don't, even without. Kato Couch Potato! Sorry, let me finish a sentence. Um, you don't have premium and you haven't received an ad on this live. Isn't that funny? And some and someone had like a bunch. It's very strange. Okay, Sachi Bell, we'll see you in a little bit. Kato Couch Potato, I was thinking of doing that today. Today. I was going to like play her in the background, like on the screen, put the game up on the screen and put that like silent so we could still kind of watch her but play the game at the same time. <laughs> Would you like to do that? I mean, now we can just play the game. We don't have to have her on the screen. Yeah, we can totally do that. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let me see. Let me think of a... So if you haven't played the word game yet, okay... It's pretty fun, pretty fun. So you can chat, you can guess right in the chat. You've been on for an hour or more and only two ads, really interesting. Yeah, someone got like four in like 30 minutes. That's, that's unacceptable in my opinion. All right, so words on stream, basically they're jumbled up words and you try to make jumbled up letters, sorry, jumbled up letters, and you try to make words out of them. There's usually a, there's usually a, um, a letter that is not included. So you'll be like, why isn't this word coming through? It's like it has everything involved, but there will be a letter usually that isn't being used. So I'm just trying to set this up quickly. But it's fun. It's fun. It truly is. Okay. Mm. I gotta log in. Um, yeah, okay. And I just, I happen to, um, we are on low, ultra low latency, which means that there shouldn't be much of a delay between the time that you enter your word for that, for words on stream to, to um, recognize it and apply it. Because sometimes it might feel delayed. Okay, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Mm -mm -mm. Here we go. Yeah, it's pretty fun. Okay, here we go. Okay, so you're going to take those letters and try to make a word out of it. Minimum of four letters. And you can type right in the chat.
Okay. So we got 12 out of 14 words. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. So in the number one spot, we have Steffi Jenkins. Number two is Personal Cooking Channel. Number three, Cassandra. Number four, Glamasaurus Rex. Number five, Purple Spirit. Number six, Rosebud. Number seven, Cato Couch Potato. Number eight, Kusinta. Number nine, Lisa. And number 10, two Dalmatians and a pit. Are you ready for the next level? We have skipped three levels because we are the best nest. So we're up to level four now. Are you ready? Okay, take a deep breath. It's okay. It's okay. We got this. We got this. All right. Let's do it again. Seventeen out of twenty words. Okay. So on this level, number one, Kate Amari. Number two, Cat C. Number three, Personal Cooking Channel. Number four, Joanna Freedom. Number five, Rander. Number six, Sea Life. Seven, I Monster. Eight, Kusinta. Nine, Ms. Mac. Ten, Megan Eight. Eleven, Monty B and Frankster. Twelve, Glamasaurus Rex. Thirteen, Steffi Jenkins. And fourteen, Kazaya Hojati. Now you're getting ads? Ugh. How annoying. Wrong time for ads. Your YouTube told you to take a break. <laughs> it's like you've been on for 12 hours, 77 seconds. <laughs> it might be time to take a break. All right, here we go.
Okay, so the shaded letter, it'll tell us like towards the end, the shaded letter is the letter that isn't used. So in this case, it was S. It was S. All right, let's go to 11. We're at level seven already. What a nest. All right, so number one. AYS. Number two, Joanna Freedom. Three, Ms. Mac. Number four, Daft Clanker. Five, K. Mary. Six, Kazaya Hojati. Seven, Poor Life Choices Simulator. Eight, Randar. Nine, Lisa. Ten, Kusinta. Eleven, Sandwich. Twelve, Megan Eight. And thirteen, Simply Khadija. Yes! says attention there is a fake letter so the fake letter will turn a different color towards the end that's when we know we can't use that letter out of 17 words we're going to level nine. Oh, we were at level nine wow miss number one ms mac number two dumpster rolos number three over fear four purple spirit five kosinta six kazaya hojati seven kato couch potato eight monty b nine face of america ten shell b eleven megan eight twelve rand r you can no, you cannot use a letter more than once unless it's on there more than once. And just pay attention to the shaded letter because that'll be the letter that won't ever make a word. So like in this last one, it was L. So everyone, make sure that you're on live because if you're a little behind in the chat where you're not watching live, it will affect your game. And you could be winning. You ready to continue? Do you want to grab a drink? Take a breath? <laughs> guys are very smart. It's a smart nest, for sure. All right. It is, <laughs> yeah, it is stressful, I know. Uh, <laughs> okay, let's go. They only give us one vowel. <laughs> so the fake letter is X in this one. Nice, record time. 
nine out of nine words. Yes. Number one, Randar. Number two, Monty B. Three, Poor Life Choices Simulator. Four, I Monster. Five, Rosebud. Six, Ms. Mac. Seven, K. Mary. Eight, Kusinta. Nine, Shelby. That's it. We don't get ten. All right. Ms. Mac, for the total ranking, you're still number one. And you are quite a bit in the lead. So this could be you. Damn ads. I'll keep an eye on the ads because sometimes it'll tell me an ad is coming up and I can have the choice to skip it. So I will do that if one's coming. Okay. Ready? On to the next one. There's a hidden letter on this one, the question mark. We don't know what it is, but you can guess. Fake letter M is the secret letter. Ooh, Cassandra, nice word. Acumen. out of 11 words yeah okay for this round number one glamasaurus rex ms mac you're still in the number one overall total ranking number two monty b three cassandra four cat c five shall be six ms mac seven rand r eight dumpster rolos <laughs> your business acumen let you down <laughs>
feel like most of those aren't even words. <laughs> what does evens mean? <laughs> All right, number one, Megan eight, two, Monty B, three, two Dalmatians in a pit, four, Purple Spirit, five, Daft Clanker, six, Joanna Freedom, seven, Steffi Jenkins, and eight, Just a Nugget. Ms. Mack, you are down now. Overall, number two. But you're still at 47 points. You're only three below the top one, which is Monty B and Frank. You can do it. You both can do it. Everyone can do it. <laughs> it does stop at some point. It doesn't go on and on forever. So, <laughs> All right. Next up. Let's go. Let's do it. getting tough 10 out of 13 words number one spot for both level 20 and the total ranking is megan eight number two for level 20 is cat c number three two dalmatians and a pit four lisa five glamasaurus rex six monty b seven kato couch potato eight just nugget nine purple spirit
Just slid right in there, Randar. Slid right in. No! What? Oh, because we only got 10 out of 21? Whatever. Please. Level 21, that's pretty good. Pretty good. <laughs> it's okay. All right. So for that level, level 21, Cassandra got number one, two, Kazaya Hojati, three, Kea Mary, four, Joanna Freedom, five, Ms. Mac, six, Face of America, seven, Poor Life Choices Simulator, eight, Addicted to Cold Brew, nine, Steffi Jenkins, and ten, Randar. The total ranking overall for the entire game in the number one spot is Megan Eight. Woo! Megan Eight! Megan Eight. Amazing. Number one, Megan Eight. Fantastic. Yes. Woohoo! Right. Number two spot, Monty B and Frank. Number three, Ms. Mac. Number four, Randar. Number five, Steffi Jenkins. Number six, K. Amari. Seven, Glamasaurus Rex. Eight, Joanna Freedom. Nine, Purple Spirit. Ten, Cat C. Eleven, Cassandra. Twelve, Kusinta. Thirteen, Personal Cooking Channel. Fourteen, Two Dalmatians and a Pit. Fifteen, Kazaya Hojati. Sixteen, Kato Couch Potato. Seventeen, Daft Clanker. Eighteen, Lisa. Nineteen, Poor Life Choices Simulator. Twenty, I'm Monster, 21, Dumpster Rolos, 22, Rosebud, 23, Shell B, 24, Just a Nugget, 25, Face of America, 26, Sea Life, 27, AYS, 28, Over Fear, 29, Addicted to Cold Brew, 30, Sandwich, and 31, Simply Khadija. Woohoo! Good times. Good times had by all. Yes. Thanks for playing, everybody. That was fun. Yeah, everyone's very smart. We have a very smart nest, for sure. We do. Now your brain is dead. <laughs> I understand. I understand. Thank you so much. Yeah, Lisa, I thought we would end on Holy Spirit Activate. Yeah, I thought we might. So thank you so much for hanging out with me today and uh, yeah, just chilling, you know, talking about Chantal, talking about psychology, playing some word games. You know, we do it all over here, don't we? Yeah. All right. Yeah, we'll definitely uh, end on Holy Spirit Activate. We do have to cleanse the nest after today with Chantal and uh, I will definitely see you next time. All right. Have a great day, everybody. They say I ain't safe cause I cuss a little bit But you're the only judge that I need and that's it They always in my business cause they say I backslid They read the Holy Bible but they ain't applying it So Holy Spirit activate If you do it right now that would be great I ain't trying to smack this chick in the face Don't you see me down here trying to change my way So Holy Spirit, You better do it Lord You better get them Lord <laughs> Before I get them Lord Hey Hey Better do it, Lord. Spirit, you better get him, Lord. Spirit, before I get him, Lord. Activate, hey. Activate. Oh, no. Hey, hey. They say I ain't safe because I cuss a little bit. But you're the only judge that I need and that's it. They always in my business cause they say I backslid. They read the Holy Bible but they ain't applying it. So Holy Spirit activate. If you do it right now, that would be great. I ain't trying to smack this chick in the face. Don't you see me down here trying to change my way. So Holy Spirit You better do it, Lord. Holy Spirit You better get them, Lord. <laughs> Before I get them, Lord. Hey, better do it, Lord. You better get him, Lord. Before I get him, Lord. Hey. Activate. 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 Activ
activate. Oh no. Holy Spirit, activate. Okay. Holy Spirit, activate. Okay. Activate. Okay. Hey, they say I ain't saved cause I cuss a little bit But you're the only judge that I need and that's it They always in my business cause they say I backslid They read the Holy Bible but they ain't applying it So Holy Spirit activate If you do it right now that would be great I ain't trying to smack this chick in the face Don't you see me down here trying to change my way So Holy Spirit activate You better do it Lord Holy Spirit activate. You better get them Lord <laughs> Before I get them Lord Okay Hey, 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 they say I ain't saved cause I cuss a little bit But you're the only judge that I need and that's it They always in my business cause they say I backslid They read the Holy Bible but they ain't applying it The Holy Spirit activate If you do it right now, that's good for you